times can I forget to move files? How many times can I forget to move files? This is a bad idea. Should I not play this today? Should I play something else? It's going to be a, a fucking stream on a Wednesday. I'm not sure if any people are going to tune in. Hey ZC, should I stream something else? I feel like this is a bad idea today. I should play System Shock. Shit. Why not Amnesia? Why would I play Amnesia? Hold on, I might change this. I might go with System Shock instead. Pens. No, I'm going to play Field Intensity. Fuck it, I feel good today. I watched a thunderstorm last night. It was cool. It's made me stay up late. When's the closure? <sighs> I'll do that next. In fact, I promise you guys, after... Not this week, not the next week, but I will have a, a small summary video on the first episode of The Closure and we'll play the rest of that and we'll play the whole fucking thing. Well, we probably won't play the whole thing, but we'll give it a shot. Half-life? Half-half or life-life? Um, I'm, I'm kind of a balancing out kind of guy. I kind of like a, a good balance in life. So I, I take 50% of the half and 50% of the life and make it half life. When's the react stream? We've been over this. I'll do the react stream when I get out my next video. So in six to eight months. Your hair says otherwise. My hair doesn't say anything. It's hair. It can't talk. When's next video? I've told you guys, it's two hours long. It's about 50% complete, I want to say, give or take. Um, <laughs> okay, it's actually currently closer to... Um, it's currently closer to... Uh, Two hours and thirty minutes long, uh, but don't worry. It uh, the the stream uh, the the part one of hazardous course uh, or the the part one that I'm making where it's technically just hazardous course up until we reach uh, here or not here here hereish. So you know. It's only going to be probably another 30 to 40 minutes. And then I'll start cutting this all back down. Not this, because this is already done, but this. So it should be about a two hour and 30 minute video. Lol, Jolly's making a full movie. Jolly playing Half-Life? What the fuck? Yeah, I know. I just, I felt it today. I felt good. Uh, it's nice weather. Uh... Should open some windows. Give me a second. I'm going to open windows and uh, I'm running late and I don't know. Also got this happening. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Uh, we are, we are very, very low on storage space currently. Uh, but don't worry. We'll have just enough room to record this. Oh, you guys can't see shit. And then, um, and I bought my hard drive home. So I just need to transfer some files across. One hour and 30 minutes of editing is insane. Good luck on the rest. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like fancy editing as well. Hold on. Let me, let me bring some of this up. Oh, that's not working. Uh, hold on. Firstly, that's hidden good. So you can see some of, some of the, some of the fancy stuff where it's like, it's behind. Oh, you guys can't see shit. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I've got the screen zoomed in. It's got like fancy subtitles and stuff. You guys can't hear anything. Whoops, that's on me. Sorry. 
Um, because you can't see any of that. Uh, I had to do some serious mangling of the intro because people kept donating and stuff, and that was a real problem. But, um, hold on. You guys can just listen to this. Look at this. Whoa! That needs to go all the way up there. Uh, you guys can't see shit. Hold on, let me fix this. I can fix this. Link media. Linked media. Uh, come on. Oh no, it was named on title project. That means it's gonna not work. Um. Is it gonna work? Nope, wrong one. Okay, that's not gonna work. I can get rid of that. Right, so just pretend this subtitle goes behind Barney's head. You can, oh shit. Just pretend the subtitle goes behind Barney's head. Because it should go behind Barney's head, but it doesn't go behind Barney's head. Shut up. Die, you blood sucker. Was any of this necessary? No, but this is the second best Half-Life 1 mod I've ever played, so... Shut up. Shut up. Oh, and then there's don't 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 look don't look at that don't look at the don't look at the fake subtitling I'm having to do because uh, I may have had to re-record this seven or eight times because people kept donating and shit. Don't look at that. Don't look at the don't look at the fox. Don't look at the the fake subtitling I'm gonna have to do. Look, most of it isn't. Look, all of this is not. It's just the intro. The intro has to be good, guys. It has to hook them in. Anyways, um, whoop, that was Reddit. Waiting for files to move. It's a sham. Yeah, the intro is a sham because if you go back and watch the video, I had to redo it like four times because people kept donating and shit. So I couldn't keep consistent train of thought. It's a real problem. Reddit is spotted. I do Reddit occasionally. Um, by the way, uh, this next video is kind of going to be the linchpin of a complete shift in my channel. Rest in peace, Reddit. Uh, I'm sure they'll fix it. I if if they don't let me use Reddit is fun. I guarantee you that I will probably use it way 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 less. But um, lying and manipulation. It's really not though, because if you, I I've got the vod up, you can go watch the hazardous course vod and see the changes. Boycotting Reddit on the 12th? It's gonna be hilarious. It's gonna be a fucking ghost town. Some random, like, Taylor Swift feet pics subreddit is gonna get to the front page, and it's going to be very amusing. Next video, which is over a year away. I'd say a month, Nikron. I'd say a month. Thank you very much, ZZL, for the 100 bits. Considering Jolly hasn't dedoxed himself in the last five minutes, good job. Here's a small reward. Thank you, I try. That's a new record, right? Why are we boycotting Reddit? Uh, they're, they're disabling API access, as everybody's doing, because uh, they don't want uh, people using it for AI, except for their own AI, because now uh, monetizing other people's sentences and words and information is not just worth a bit of money, it's worth a lot of money, because now we can train our AI to think like our audience. Therefore, we must hoard all of their data. Um, for massive amounts of monetary gain. And nobody else can use our data. No, it's just us. We'll use our data. Um, and as a result, everybody's trying to hide their old data. Uh, and that don't want people being able to search things and find old things and troll through all their old data and everything. Um, and, uh, well, that okay, this is, this is pure conjecture. I, I'm, just, this is just what people... Theorized is the reason why they decided to do this. I should play Bolt Gun. Why didn't I play Bolt Gun today? Bolt Gun's so much fun. I was having so much fun playing Bolt Gun. Um, but uh, they're, they're doing it with everything. Um, this, is, this is what happens when we start going into a recession and all of these tech companies go, our record profits are no longer record profits. What is this? We're reaching the limits of our growth? But no, we've still got to make more money. We didn't make all the money this year. Well, okay. 
I guess we'll have to fuck over our user base even more. Got like 30 gigabytes of Reddit porn. Wow, you've got one ten millionth of all porn posted to Reddit ever? Wow. Holy shit, dude. Gotta step up your porn downloading game. Who downloads porn? Why do you download porn? What's the point in downloading porn? I've never seen a nice enough pair of titties on the internet to go, ooh, I'm going to save that on my hard drive as a memento. I just, it, it's there, it's gone. If I find it again, I go, I remember that pair of titties. That was a nice pair of titties. If not, eh, whatever. I'll find other titties. The other titties will work. All right. They'll get the job done. 114 gigabytes free. That is enough. The red, the red is a good thing, right? The red Greetings, means good, brother. right? That means um, I'm all full up, full of delicious data. Hey, Jolly, what are we playing today? One of the most ambitious Half-Life mods in uh, recent memory. Uh, apparently a very good one. I have played some of it, but then I didn't do a good job. So we're doing it again. <laughs> I played like 40 to 50% of it. I don't remember it. All I remember is Richter uh, voices over a fair bit of it. Um. Hey, Jolly, what do you think about food? It's important. You should eat it. Or drink it if it's soup, but, you know, that gets into weird territory. What is soup? Is it a drink? Is it food? Is it a bit of both? I don't know. At what point does a soup stop being a soup and starts becoming a solid? Is it when you have to chew or is it when you can't like suck it through a straw? I don't know. Can't wait for the internet to go fucking belly up. Um, my internet might do that. Last night there was a huge thunderstorm and there's supposed to be a, another thunderstorm coming on through. So if you suddenly have no jolly, it's because my internet has died. It's broccoli and gouda cheese sauce. I mean, you could just put that in a bowl and eat it. I would do that. That sounds delicious. Um, I basically took all of the good non safe for work subreddits and saved the top 500 posts from every single one. Lawrence, you're doing God's work. No, you're not. God would not approve of that, but you're doing work. And that's... That's good. Good on you. I'm glad you're doing work. Did you get to the part where the corporal said, where Corporal Oldfield said it's field in time and intensity all over the place? Morbin time's getting a resurgence, and I'm not a fan of that. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of this of this resurgence of Morbin. I don't like it. I've seen it in a couple of places this past week, and I'm like, this was never a really good bit. What happened? Where, where is, how is this making a resurgence? I saw Jared Leto climbing a building. Was that what's, what spurred its resurgence? Because honestly, that's all it takes. The internet is doomed. Chat's so horny tonight. Really? I don't think so. Nobody said they want to fuck my face, which is rare. Jelly, what are your thoughts on AI-generated porn? It's great. I can finally make women with three belly buttons, and that's the hottest shit I've ever seen, and I fucking love it. It's so good. All women should have three belly buttons. It's the hottest shit. I want to stick my dick in all three of them. Anyways, uh, welcome to Half-Life Field Intensity. That's a good way to start this. How's it going? Um, this is a mod. Because we want to fuck Morbius. You just want to fuck Jared Leto then. What the fuck did I just come into? Belly button fetish? No, I don't know what you're talking about. What belly button fetish, Dark Leto? Yeah, Do you have I'll something you want to tell the... And die. Tell the class. Should I give you a nickname? Want to give you a nickname? Belly button fetish man? can't believe you said you wanted women to have three belly buttons, dog litter. 
That's so weird. Why would you say that, dude? Uh, thank you, Warden of the North, for the <laughs> Prime for 31 months. I have a job again, Pog. Wow. It's been... Five... Four-ish years since I last had a job. I used to be a bartender. Now I just sit around and play video games on the internet and somehow money appears. Thank you very much for the 31 months. Thank you very much to everybody who supports me. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Schwez, for the tier one for 16 months. That was a nice pair of titties. What? Where? I didn't show titties, did I? Get a job, you fucking neat. I have a job! It's playing video games on the internet. Shut up, mum. Uh, thank you very much, Zizal, for the 100 bits. Considering Jolly hasn't dedoxed him- Oh, thank you, Huvian, for the 47 months. Thank you, Ghost141, for the Prime for 32 months. Uh, woo, subversary. I wish I could show up more often, but between working and in mourning and having a girlfriend, my time is already always taken. Okay, brag more. Got a girlfriend? What, what of it? What of it? I'm not jealous. Fuck off. Thank you, Zsit, for the tier one for 53 months. Thank you, Annoyed Gamer, for my gifted sub. Stream what you enjoy, brother. not what we want, by the way. We would like... <laughs> stream what you want, not... Uh, stream what you enjoy, not what we want, by the way. We would like... King of the Castle. Jelly, just stream what you want. Stream what you'd enjoy. Like King of the Castle. Well, I, I kind of want to play some Half-Life right now. Yeah, but wouldn't you rather play King of the Castle? I think you'd really want to play King of the Castle. You know, I really think you'd enjoy it. But don't do what we want. Just do what you want. Like King of the Castle. I feel like you'd really enjoy it, Jelly. Look, you know what? I don't think you know what you want to do. I think we, we, we'll make the decision for you. Chat knows what you like. Chad knows what you enjoy. Chad can make the decision. Uh, thank you very much, Vismus, for the prime four months. Hello. Hi. Being happy and it makes us happy. Wow, do I really have this much control over your attitude and mental state? That's... That's kind of worrying. And here I am being horny for a joke and I'm... Irreparably fucking up my community. That's kind of cool in a way. I cancel out the plus two. <laughs> uh, anyways, you're basically a Jedi, Jelly. Prime sub to me. <laughs> Prime sub to me. Give me your free money. This is the channel your prime sub is looking for. Uh, anyways, uh, let's let's go. As a chat member with a life and two degrees, I can confirm we all have no clue about anything. Especially me. All right, let's go. Oh, hey, troll. Half-life oh. field intensity. Oh, for fuck's sake. Also have some money. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. Half-life. Field intensity. Just realized I made the mistake of still having the webcam on. Half-life. Field intensity. Field is quite intense. Also, is this intro? Roman... All right, it's soldier. Now we're gonna oh, see some action. <laughs> <laughs> had to shoot him in the dick. Couldn't have shot him straight in the face. No, he had to crouch first. Black Mesa, subject, Stefan Oldfield, male, age 26. Holy shit, we are the field. Wait, wait, are we the... Are we the field? Are we intense? Uh, I guess. Training, United States Marine Corps, Special Forces, rank, Corporal. 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 That. 
Oh, I'm a soldier. Great, cool. I'm one of the good guys. Here to help out all these poor scientists. With a bullet to the brain. Current assignment, hazardous environment combat unit. Uh, something, oh, mission classified. Well, that's great. Glad we're going into this with a clearly defined mission. Oh, I'm sure it is quite clearly defined. We're just not allowed to... Greetings, brother. Know exactly what we have to do. Have a safe day. Doesn't it have a Greetings, safe and productive brother. day? It's have a safe and productive day, isn't it? <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> We're just... Home phrase frame rate two. Whee! Oh, there we go. Zero. Hey, thank you, Sean, for the two gifted subs. Uh, I'm sure everybody playing this will be like, Oh, that's the line! Because they're, you know... They wouldn't know much about Half-Life if they're playing a mod. You know built for massive Half-Life fans that will probably know the line off by heart. Whatever. It's close enough. Um, thank you, Darth Bong, for the T1 for six months. It's jelly time. Yeah. Micro cam jelly time? No, no, no. Day 9 did that bit. I'm not doing that bit. Thank you, Trovic, for the $10. Thank you actually a lot for that. That's really helpful. And thank you again, Sean, for the two gifted subs. Daisy's out for the 100 bits. I'm a lurk to avoid spoilers. Enjoy the mod, Jolly. Have you never played this, Z? Good night, ghost. It's the US military. Productivity isn't their thing. Okay, but they should still have some sort of idea what their mission is, surely. Soldier, chop, chop. Get to that classified mission. Do it quickly. Although I guess it depends. Try and have a safe day. No promises. Even without a cataclysmic welding and even without a chasm, even without a chasm. Good start. Even without a cataclysmic world ending event, the marine hasn't walked across. So quite clearly, we have to do this one more time. Greetings, I very much apologize. Greetings, brother. Even without a cataclysmic world ending event, it's kind of hard to have a safe day in Black Mesa. <laughs> Safety isn't their top priority. Holy shit. <sighs> as soon as- You couldn't have done this in the intro! You very, very kind people. Thank you, Blankus Venus, for the team on four months. Kindly finally caught another Jelly stream. Love your stuff, Jelly. Thank you, Just In Time TV, for gifting us up to Tony Willy. Also, this is one of those streams where I'm going to be uh, sort of creating content, so a lot of standing about, ad-libbing, figuring things out, so that then I can cut around things in the video. Um, thank you very much, Dwolo, for the three dollars. Remember, child shooting out of vagina. <laughs> no, I'm glad I'm redoing this intro. I'm glad. Oh, I broke it. Only the server may change levels. Okay, I've actually broken it. <laughs> One more time. Wait, hold on. Load game. Have a safe day. Oh, okay, that works. I think. Okay. Well, I can't move. I, I can't, I can't move. No. Nope. Can I move now? I can't move. Well, one more time, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Tina, I can't do that. I tried. Uh, you have to open up two, uh... All right, it's soldier. Now we're gonna see some action. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Barney did see some action. Briefly. Before he was shot in the dick. 
or died from blood loss from his penis. 10 out of 10 mod. Why would you ever want to leave the truck? <laughs> oh, I'm mad. Why do I have to make content? It sucks. Why do people only watch my YouTube videos where I make the fun content? <laughs> Thank you for the 200 bits, blank penis. Rank Greetings, brother. Cyril Foreman. Okay. You know, this is quite a nonchalant entry in a Black Mesa. Just driving straight on in. No blaring sky sirens, explosions, zombies coming out of the fucking walls. Nothing. Did we just pick the one part of Black Mesa that was having a pretty okay time, all things considered? Heard a couple of loud explosions, but other than that, no issues at all. Hey, dude. How's it going? Hmm. Oh. Do you copy? Please respond. Copy. Uh, I'm not a printer, but uh, I can generally. Squad Romeo, please respond. Oh, okay, I will. Copy. Guess who's your radio operator, Stefan? Who? Yeah, it's me. Your old friend Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Your squad's almost arrived at the destination point. According mm -hmm. to our map, the elevator to the level 3 dormitory should be somewhere okay. nearby. Right? The elevator Ooh. must be in that room behind Ooh. Ooh. these doors. No way I can cut through this with my torch. Man, I hate thick doors. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Maybe we I can find the control panel things. and open those gates in a more civilized way. Okay. Let's do that. Right, yes, civilized. That's what we are. We're not mindless brutes. Sent here to kill poor civilians. We're the good guys. We're the US Army. Anyways. My recharging time was rudely interrupted. Uh, okay, I got a team. Well, you're the one with the night vision. You go there. Okay, I'll go there. Oh boy. Yes, I'm the one with the night vision. The overwhelmingly green and kind of useless night vision. Kind of unsightly night vision. It's great. I love it. Couldn't have just given me, given me a torch. No way. No way, no how. Alright. Well. Oh. Hello. Little, little squid. See you in a second, I guess. What you doing? What you doing in those things? Just hanging out. I don't know who's more clueless about what they're doing here, the bull squid or me. Whoa! I'm gonna go with me. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that bull squid has a general plan, an idea of where to go and what it's doing. Meanwhile, I'm over here. I don't know what I'm doing. Get in the dormitories? My mission is classified. I'm a soldier. I'm a good guy. I fell in a hole. This is... Uh, can't tell if it's me being incompetent or this is just... Par for the course for Oldfield. I feel like we're establishing a lot about our character here. Some brands. I don't know why I ever questioned if the bull squid was more incompetent or clueless than I was. We all knew the answer. Uh, right. I'm in here now. Oh. I can press this button and that's gonna open up something, right? Turn on the lights and open up something. Hey, two for one. Nice. Good deal. Did it guys, I turned on the lights. Not that that opened the door, but... Wait, did it open the door? Nope. I'm still confused. Can you help me? Nope. Well, I'll figure it out. Oh, hey, the control room. And then I hit the button. 
Yeah, there we go. Right, figured it out. Oh, I have objectives. Ooh, um, follow the engineer, enter the elevator. I can do that. Clear, easy to follow objective. Thoughts, turns out my friend Kevin serves as a radio man in our mission. I'm gonna say on our mission, I'm gonna correct that. Just cross out that little in and put an on. Oldfield's a marine, he's not great at spelling, thinking, critical thought. He uh, specializes in eating crayons and shooting people. Man after my own heart. He's someone I can always rely on. Hint, night vision comes in two styles. You can configure the preference preferred style in advanced settings. Sweet, let's do that. Let's break the fourth wall. <laughs> uh, night vision style, counter-strike, opposing force. What's the difference? Uh, yes, alright, this one's green. This, this one's green and a little bit grainy. And this one, I played half of it or like two thirds of it. I played, I played three hours of it. Um, and then I never finished it because I'm a fool. Or slightly different green. Hmm. Wide variety of options here. I can see why you gave me the choice. Really allowing me to customize this to my own personal preferences. I like this one, yes. <laughs> the other one, the other one also has the downside of completely destroying the YouTube bitrate. Um, replaying for content, I guess. I didn't finish it, I didn't get anywhere close. I got three hours in and then I went, oh, I've got a headache, I need to go do something else. Thank you very much, Ghost, for the two gifted subs, if you're still here. Thank you. You don't post to YouTube anymore. How many times have we been over this? I post to my second channel all the time. I've released three videos in the past month. And then my main channel video, it's two hours long. Of course I don't upload. I've got to make two hours worth of video. It does, but on jolly time. Yes, I'm like Valve, alright? Except my content quality is nowhere near on the same level. And I'm not revolu revolutionizing the industry every time I upload. So it's nothing like Valve, except for it takes me months and months and months to make anything. Thank you for streaming, Jelly. No problem, Jovial Sadism. I can see why you're a fan with a name like that. Okay. Well, let us continue. We open the door. There we go. Mission never done. seen dogs Whoop. of this breed before. <laughs> what, you've never seen horrifically mutated three-legged dogs with caviar for eyes? No, I'm not surprised. Old field. Follow your squad engineer. Alright, we'll do. Plus, I'm just getting a lay of the land. That's a pretty convenient the elevator step. Yep, yep, okay. I was trying to, you know, figure out where I was. About to comment on the map being a little confusing. Get into Whatever. the elevator step. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, 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 I'm doing it. Press tab. Take the elevator down to level 3 dormitories. Wow, okay. <laughs> Kevin's really holding my hand here. He's aware I'm not the... No witnesses. Cleverest cookie. The order, Stefan, no witnesses. Wait, hold on, my orders were classified. Damn. I'll stop Something must be broken. I hate elevators. An elevator Maybe it can be you. fixed from the other side. Oldfield, use the and hatch the to get out and secure the area. Poor unfortunate soul that happens to step into them. I'll stay and try oh. to figure it out here, but you might have a better luck outside. I might have a better luck outside. He's gonna fall to his death. It's gonna be amusing. It's gonna be a unfortunate, actually. He's a funny little guy. He doesn't English good. Um. Wait, hold on. But my mission was classified. How am I supposed to? It, it, uh, am I not? I thought we weren't supposed to be aware that we were horrible murderers up until the last second. Whatever. I'll, I'll go. Let's do this. 
Poor guy's gonna fall to his death. Lifts take no prisoners, and neither do stairs. Make everybody look like fools. Hey, that's a good thing. Now we can tell all of the scientists to come straight towards us. In an orderly fashion. So we can rescue them all. Right? Oh. Ow. Shit. Fuck. I'm... I'm, I'm a marine. Alright? I'm... I'm... Role-playing. We're clumsy. Marines are clumsy. It's not me. I'm just... I'm just... Betraying my character correctly. Oh, hey. Oh, that's one person we can't save. I wonder what Kevin meant by no witnesses. Are we just supposed to blindfold them? You know what? This is. <laughs> this bit probably fucking sucks, doesn't it? Secondary objective terminated. Okay, whatever that means. He's taking a nap. Yeah. He's not a witness. He's sleeping. It's fine. Um. Right. As far as Oldfield con is concerned, we're still the good guys. We've just gotta... Gotta be discreetly good guys. Gotta be like Guardian Angels. Who's talking about this Gordon Freeman guy? Looks like he's responsible for this mess. HQ sent the squad to search his dormitory. Alright, rummage through his stuff. See if he's some sort of Russian spy or something. Good idea. Neat. Boop. Boop. Nope. Boop. Alright, they couldn't give me something other than a knife. Wait, I have a gun, don't I? <laughs> they could give me something other than a knife. Whoop. Misfire. It's fine. Itchy trigger finger. You know how it is. Oh, pool. I'll go swimming. Whee! And... Oh, hey. Um. Perhaps I shouldn't go swimming. This doesn't seem particularly sanitary. Oh, neat. Got a Beretta. Rest rooms. Also neat. Can't go in them. Dang. Old field is blasting to take a piss after that tram ride. That car ride. I imagine it hasn't been a short drive to get to the Black Mesa facility from wherever the fuck the closest town is. Black Mesa. No running, no horseplay. No horseplay? I didn't even know they had horses in Black Mesa. No food or drinks, no smoking, no glass containers, no nudity. Right. Okay. No horses. Not even ones wearing a suit and tie. Not even ones wearing pants. Would have been the funnier joke, but whatever. Let's all think about horses wearing suits and ties. How hilarious is that? Oh, same joke? What do you mean by the same joke? What do you mean by the same joke? What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't understand. I need, I need clarification here. Have I already made these jokes? Genuinely? I don't know. You made the horseplay joke last time. Oh no. <laughs> Whatever. I need to redo this, alright? You will get to the original jokes about three hours from now, alright? Who? Uh... Didn't know there were ladies in Black Mesa. Where's Freeman? Oh. We don't have time to mess around here. You've got to believe me. Freeman could be anywhere. I'm not letting you go until you talk. Are you interrogating a man in a toilet stall? Hello, sir. Hi. What's up, my good friend, my pal, my compatriot? Doing another good job protecting the U.S. of A. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. 
a fine upstanding marine. Um, is he dead? He's dead, good. Can't go in the women's toilets? Nope, and... Don't think I want to go in the men's toilets right now. Or who wants to remain? In a state of plausible deniability. It's beginning to figure out what they mean by no witnesses. He just wants to make sure... <laughs> That he personally can claim that he has a guilt-free conscience. Conscience. Just got randomly gifted this up to Iron Man. Oh, good job. Thanks. That's that's great. Wait, to Iron Mouse from I. All right, you you got gifted this up to a different streamer. That's nice. Shooting volume is pretty high, Jolly. Let me fix that real quick. It shouldn't be. I don't know what's going on with, with volumes, but you're right. Yeah, okay. I have played the first part of this, but I didn't play the second part of this, and it was so good, and I did such a shit job at commentating it, I decided to redo it. Is that bad? Are you guys annoyed at that? You might be. I don't know. I'm finishing this, though. As far as Oldfield is concerned, as long as he doesn't fire any of the shots, he is blameless here. I am blameless. Uh, I'm gonna use my bigger gun. Why was I using my... Why was I using a handgun? What was the logic there? Alright, all good. Aliens don't count. I can kill as many aliens as I want, because they aren't people. But people, I will, um, avoid shooting. Zombies also don't count. You know, the Marines are surprisingly okay with all this shit going on. It said mission classified, but was it just classified for old fields? Did they just not trust Oldfield with that sort of information? I was scared he was going to be one of those dickheads that posts all of the classified information on TikTok. Hey, what's up, guys? Just going into the Black Mesa facility. Excited to kill some innocent scientists. Heard there's something big going on in there. Can't wait to show you guys. Jolly, they're marines. They've seen worse in the barracks. Like what? I mean, I've seen some, some pretty disgusting looking shits, but... I mean, this is an alien. I guess it isn't as grotesque, but... Still. Oldfield's own mission is above his pay grades. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But this is before the Marines got really desperate. Oh, hey guys. Pardon me. Pardon me. Easy. Uh, restricted. Show. Past guard in booth. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be possible. What's happening? Oh. <laughs> Alright. Nice little cameo there. Two scientists that I don't think I'm going to be able to kill. Just putting it out there. Uh, I guess we can't go this way. I guess we'll go this way. I remember why I couldn't make a commentary on this. It simply has too much of its own personality. Uh, we'll go this way. Oh, hey, objective updated. You look just like I feel. What? Great, Recon team, handsome, in. full of life and love. Or shit. Probably shit. Now that I think about it. Oh, oh all right. He really loves that blowtorch, doesn't he? Won't pass down a single opportunity to use it. Why did you abandon your marines? 
because the only marine we need is me and the man with the blowtorch. Because none of them had a fancy blowtorch that I could abuse to get into rooms. Oh, hey. Oh. Alright. Another poor unfortunate sleeping Barney. But yet again, another person that I don't have to kill. Keep that plausible deniability alive and well. Sure, I may be part of the bad guys, but I'm not a bad guy. Cactus. Alright. Hey, Stefan. I haven't heard from right. the rest of your crew since they entered the second elevator. Have you oh. met up with them yet? Nope. Was I supposed to be meeting up with them? I just kind of left them behind, thinking they were dead weight. Uh... Objective. Search the area for other survivors. Thoughts. This was madness. Three sides to this conflict, all fighting inside the same room. The facility personnel, these wild creatures, and us, the marines. Can you really consider wild animals... ...a, a, a side to a fight? Like, if there's, if there's a, a, a fight to the death between two gladiators, and then you just chuck a line in the arena, I guess that counts as the third side. I take it back. That is the third side. Um, oh, I guess. Right. Oh no, my friends. They're dead. That's what happened. Found two of my members of my squad who took the elevator. What happened to them is not a fate you'd wish even on your worst enemy. Okay. And hint. <laughs> H-E-C me... Engineers can open some doors that are inaccessible otherwise. Enough about mourning the loss of my friends. I need to remember that the engineer is the only one that really matters. Oh. Hey, they're playing Ricochet 2. Wow. Neat. Well, anyways, it's time to interrupt these guys just exploring the world, thinking maybe humans aren't all bad. With murder. Interrupt their slow learning about... Oh, this robot. Very funny. Human society. Maybe thinking they're in the wrong, and that we could get along, and that they don't have to fight us. What's some... Um, oh, hey, it's G-Man. Lobby man. Can I... No. Dang it. That'd be too much work. If this was source, yes. Gold source. No, that's not possible. With bullets. Get off our planet, you fucking Xenos. Yeah. Oldfield's an avid 40k fan. And thinks that... The humans in 40k are... In the right. They're the good guys. He's having a great time. Just pretending he's- Whoa! Hey. Now get me. I'm in my little corner of safety. Fuck off. Fuck off. Just shoot him in the leg. Hell yeah. Corner of safety. It works. Still stuck and I like it that way. 40k is too much resolution. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible joke. I love it. That's something like I would say. Something incredibly stupid, that is. Uh. Right. Oh, hey. Thank you for the suit charge. And hey, buddy. You know what? Maybe these aliens aren't so bad. They are doing our job for us. That's nice. That's cool. Is this a political statement? This is Oldfield gonna be mad that the aliens, the illegal aliens, are stealing his job? <laughs> or long commands gonna be like, Ah, Oldfield, we don't really need you anymore. It's fine, we got these Xenos to do our work for us. It's, it's going real well. They're really efficient. We don't even have to pay them. Oh, I can't go out that way. Can't go out that way. Um. Security doors locked. Okay, and I can't just smash my way through them. 
there an engineer nearby that I could use? Jelly, are you saying illegal aliens are killing people? Only people we want dead. That's fine, right? It's like hiring mercenaries. That works. Always works. How well it's working for Russia currently. It's going amazing. It's going great. Definitely not at the point where they're just about fighting each other. No way. Ha ha ha, I'm up here. Is this, is this good for anything? Is this a secret? No? Okay, this is a hazardous course. Uh, <laughs> if this was a hazardous course, that'd be a secret. It'd be a secret up there. How the fuck do I get through here? I don't know, I need to go back here. My tummy is rumbling, and that's not a good thing. I hope I'm not about to be sick or something. Can't wait until the stream gets ironically racist towards aliens. No, 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 no. We're past that era. We make new and different edgy jokes. We're not about ironic racism anymore. We're about ironic sexism. There's a difference. Um, this mod makes him sick. Yeah, there's got to be something I'm doing wrong. Maybe if I just go back this way. Hold on. Can I get up here? No, I can't. Can I get up? Wait, can I get up here? Can I push this over here? Nope. There's definitely no way I can pull this through the door, is there? This is what I feel like I need to do. How the fuck is Frogzin still alive? I don't know what the fuck that is. Definitely. Oh! Whoa! Yes, I do. Okay. That's kind of ridiculous. I, I couldn't get that through the door. It looks like I wasn't allowed to put that through the door, right? Eh. Shit. Alright. Let's go up here. Nope. A little too far. Yeah. Whoop. Boop. Alright. Uh. Where's the Oh, Proceed to sector E. That's the next place we expect Raymond to be. Okay. Ah! 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 Okay. Kevin. Kind of interrupt. Way, kind of distracting me here. Okay. How much? Oh, alright, cool, thanks. I, I'm sorry, I was kind of in the middle of something where they want to make Freeman pay. Alright. What about the aliens that are also killing dozens, if not hundreds, of Marines? Do you think maybe focusing on them would, uh, would be a good idea as well? I mean, sure, Freeman did cause this, and that that's kind of means he's responsible for the other Marines dying, but... I mean, I feel like we have bigger problems. Bigger metaphorical fish to fry. Or real fish to fry, actually. There's that big motherfucker. Not that, I, not that I've seen him, but I've heard there is a very large fish. From a friend of a friend. Oh. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. You are right to run, sir. Not that I would kill you, but, you know, my friends might. I'm a good guy. And I would definitely not murder you on sight. Because I'm a good guy. I maintain my... Whoa! Shit! My good guy status for as long as I am in able... Oh, he's dead. Well, thanks for doing my job for me. Once again. If I just push the scientists into aliens, technically I'm not killing any of them, right? Right? Like, I can maintain my my technical moral cleanness if I just push all of the scientists towards aliens. I'll, I'll just be like, I'll be like a, a spooky scary monster just being like, Ah, I'm a marine! And then they run away. And then the alien zaps them. Figure out some sort of symbiotic relationship. With the Vortigaunts. Stop healing. What do you mean by stop healing? What do you mean? I don't understand. 
I'm not evil. The aliens are. Uh, I'm here. And... It's a very musical cactus, isn't it? Is it one of those ones where you, like, hit the back and then it starts dancing? That was dumb. I'm dumb. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's move on. Uh, or backwards. Where are we going? I don't know. Going to the toilet, maybe? Oh, we're going this way. We are going to the toilet. Oh, hey, Marine. You Come this way. I'll be right behind you. Sweet. Let's see if this will work. Where should I take you? You should come with me. Uh, ooh, in between those, just to make sure that you don't get eaten. And then you can open up the security door. I'll have you through here in no time. Cacti are naturally funky. Really? We don't have many of them in Australia, so. Do they just output a funky little beat by default? Be completely fucking honest. Furry or anti-furry? Uh, in furry indifference? I don't care. It's not my problem. Uh, alright. Thank you. Could see me now. Yeah. I'm standing in a facility doing fuck all. Hanging out in a corner. And getting paid for it all the while. Oh, hey, sir. Um. Alright. So I stand there. He didn't even try and take a swing. Suicidal head crab zombie. It's great. I got your sick. Shit, oh. the power is off in this area. There should be two generators somewhere. <laughs> I hate power generators. Private, do you need a cough lozenge? Maybe maybe a strep seal or something. Really sounds like you have a frog in your throat. Um, alright, power is off, let's turn that back on, let's go, oh, I feel like it should have been a, <coughs> and then the let's go, I feel like he had to clear his throat before he got that out, maybe, maybe he just puts on a gruff voice when enemies are around. Drops his voice a couple of octaves to sound. Whoop! Shit. Out of ammo. Oh! And he's out of life. Uh, is that a problem? I feel like that's a problem. I. Uh, Kevin, the. Hound eyes got to him. They were. Uh, they uh, shot him in the head. One of them figured out how to use the handgun. There's nothing I could do. him down before I even knew what was happening. I, it's an awful, awful thing. But don't worry, I, I neutralized him. The little hound eye that was wielding the desert eagle really was a sight to behold. Glad he didn't have time to teach his other hound eye buddies how to use handguns. Would have been a real problem. Um, just blame a Barney. Ah, yes. It was a Barney. It was a Barney. Change of plan. <laughs> change of change of story. Uh, I, I actually, I had that wrong. It wasn't a hound eye. It was just a Barney that looked a lot like a hound eye. He'd lost the leg and it was like hopping around. Looked very similar. Um, airlock power. Supply A, supply B. Shotgun. Supply A, supply B. Okay, I should, guess I should go turn on supply B. Well, at least that's one security door that the engineer couldn't have opened. That's nice. That's one, though. Dang it. Whatever. We'll find another engineer. We'll find another one. One that hasn't been killed by a dastardly Barney. Whoop. Whoop. Alright, guys. Um. Cease. Your Tom Foolery. That'd be nice. 
Alright. Oh, hey, two more scientists that I don't have to kill. This is great. Oldfield. Still a good guy. Still the kind of guy that would help a granny across the street. And accidentally shoot one of his allies in the back of the head and then blame it on other people. I mean, we'd never do that. He's too much of an upstanding guy. That would never happen. He would never, ever. It's him. That's the guy who killed him. What, the hound eye? No, wait, oh, oh, you mean the scientist. Yes, it was the scientist. No, it wasn't. It was a Barney. No, it was a hound eye. No, it was a scientist. It was a... It's one of those three. I don't know. Some was in my eyes. I just had a nap. I, I wasn't sure what was going on. All I know is that he's dead and it's not my fault. Whoop. 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 Unauthorized. And yet the doors open anyways, because I'm just that good of a guy. Objective updated. Proceed to sectory. Wow, okay. Do you think this is Kevin? Do you think this is Kevin typing this all out? <laughs> I feel like I feel like Kevin sort of just. Whoop. Hello, hey, so father. Hi. How's it going? How's it going, kiddo? How's school? School's good. That's good. How's your mum? Tits still perky as hell. Remember that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I'm not sure. I think this might just be my own internal monologue. A damn door. That damn door shut and won't open again. Really, if you had Richter go ahead and voice, like, the main companion for this story, why didn't you get him to proofread? That damn door shut and won't open again. I'm starting to share Francis's hatred for things. Francis? Who's, who's Fra Francis? Is, is that the person I killed? Now I have to proceed alone. Oh, okay. Well, rest in peace, Francis. You couldn't have come with us anyways. So, you know, what did we really lose there? Not a lot. Um, hopefully we don't share Francis's lack of life anytime soon. Rest in peace, Francis. Um, hey, first aid. Uh, field intensity. Uh, HC Marines can open some doors that are inaccessible otherwise. You keep reminding me of that. But this one almost feels like you're rubbing it in my face. Do you know that HGC you, you Marine you killed before? Yeah. You know we could open doors that you could... Don't you wish you could open up those doors? Oh man. I bet you do. Whoop. Oh. Uh. Right. I guess we're not going on that tram. Hey Jelly, thanks for all the funny times. Your streams always help me through some bad times. Hey, no problem. Raphael Carzanza, thank you very much for the three dollars, and thank you again for the ten dollars, Sir Gundam. Thank you very much. Good night, Sean. Um, what's up, chat? Oh, dang, it's game with that Richter loser. Oh well, he's trying. He's just young. Doesn't. D d d the the man I didn't realize that Richter's only been like quote unquote internet famous for like two years. I was a stupid motherfucker when I was starting out. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. He's like 20, 20 years old. It's a little kiddie. Give it time and I'm sure he'll mature. Four minutes to die. I'm sure I'm not gonna die. I'm good at Half Life. Right, well, I did want to hop on the tram and see what was going on, but I guess we're just going this way now. Guess we're just going this way. Whoa! Getting attacked by headcrabs. Just regular day in the Black Mesa facility. Confusion as to which what way you're going, as the labyrinthine maze that is the Black Mesa facility. Uses you with its fucked up layout and getting attacked by headcrabs. It's all part of the Greetings, Black Mesa brother. facility experience. 
Hello, Jelly in chat. Hello, little burger emoji. Hmm. I'm kind of... Kind of realizing why I didn't make a video on this. Well, it's bad. It's just... I don't know what, it's, what I'm supposed to be saying. Oh, that's good. Did you just die, please, sir? Cheers. Oh, that was a... That was a very long crate. Oh, there's another one. Look at that. Look at that weird long crate. Wide crate. I don't like those. I don't like these wide crates. What's going on with these? Crates should be square, not rectangular. They're weird genetic abominations. I don't like them. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> Head crab flaunting the fact that it's, uh, greatest natural enemy. The barnacle cannot hurt it for some reason. It's just not capable. Just doesn't have the strength to lift a- whoop. Whoop. Oh shit. Fully grown human up. There is a head crab attached to its head. There's not. It can do it just fine. But if there's a head crab attached to its head, nope. A little bit of extra weight just makes it impossible. That big sticky tongue to grab it. Or maybe it's like... Head crabs are just naturally... Whoa, shit! Whoa, shit! That was a mistake. I forgot about gravity. Um, congratulations to the people in chat that just won. Uh, the prediction of whether I would die. Um, gravity. It's a bitch. It's the only reason I died there. I had one minute left. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Whatever. Maybe, maybe head crabs, like, after they get shoved through a teleporter, are just really slimy and slippery. Tongues just can't latch on. Takes a little while for the... I did it again. We're not losing that health. No, we're not going back to here. Takes a while for the teleportation goo to just wear off and dry up. It's the only explanation I can think of because honestly, I don't understand why they can't... Why they can't eat headcrab zombies. It seems like such an obvious thing. Oh shit. Don't shoot me, I'm reloading. Don't shoot me, I'm reloading. Serpentine. Serpentine. Straight backwards and forwards. It's not really a serpentine if you're just moving to the left and the right repeatedly. I'd love somebody to try and do that in real combat with an animal. Just left to right, left to right. As it latches onto your leg and tears you to the ground. Video games are not great. Oh shit, oh shit, no, no, no. Not great analogs for real life, are there? If a wild animal is trying to attack you, don't just walk to the left and the right. Actually, you know what? Don't walk at all. Run. Don't try and shoot it. That's generally considered a dick move. Uh, what's going on? Can you enjoy the same map with Left 4 Dead 2? What? Alright, I gotta eat, but when I get back, I'll start up the next round. Because <laughs> I'm betting. I'm cooking right now. Who are you for cooking? Look you, making food. I made food yesterday. The, the, okay, making food is the biggest fucking scam. Because... While it's theoretically cheaper, does anybody else have the problem when they make food and they're like, Oh, this should only take you an hour. Three hours later, you're still making the food. Oh, shit. Just gotta wait for my battery to recharge. I'm just gonna stand here and wait for my battery to recharge, and then we'll continue. It's... it's... kind of ridiculous, isn't it? How, like, cooking food doesn't... isn't just an hour of your life. Like, once you get the... go to the grocery store, get the food, come home, 
wash the ingredients, cut the ingredients, put everything together. It's like four hours of your life. It's like four hours of your life. Existing niche, you do your exam. You, you, you make sure that you do those exams well. I want to make breakfast sometimes. Oh, breakfast is usually something easy, but like... Man, I've been making a lot of my own food recently, and it's... Oh, whoa! Ah! It's a rope. It's fine, it's a rope. In fact, this rope is quite helpful. Allows me to... Shoot the barnacle. Without wasting a bunch of ammo. Oh, and it's going to allow me to get across into that locked up little area by passing the chain link fence ropes they're a lot like barnacles but don't want to eat you shit that'd be a great rope seller great pitch for ropes they won't try and eat your face speaking of trying to eat my face Oh my god. Look, Gordon. Ropes. We can use this to traverse big pits. I really need to watch Half-Life in VR. <laughs> like, Master Gree is a fan. Well, he's he's at least somebody I've talked to. I like I like Master Gree. I should really watch Half-Life, but it's but the AI is self-aware. I really should. Seems like a good time. It was a cultural phenomenon for a little while. Ropes are great. You can use them for so many different things. Whoop. Uh, is that under control by the... No! Well, that answers my question. I was about to say, is that under control by the Marines? But apparently not. Uh... How am I gonna... Whoop. Get past this. Had a wife, but they took her in the divorce. <laughs> Watch that in his Half-Life Alex gnome run. I should. Alright. Wait for it to stop beeping. There we go. There we go. It goes to sleep. And now let's go. Let's go. Aha. And button. What does that do? That that do something? Did that turn you off? Nope. Nope, that turned that on. Oh fuck. Go, go, go. Over here. Grab this, grab this. This is a terrible idea. Why did I got greedy? I got greedy. It's fine. We're fine. Go this way. Ah. Oh, we're not fine. Snarks. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. What is the counterplay here? What is the counterplay here? Counterplay is to die. Whoop. Okay. Round two. Round two. We got it this time. We'll be fine. Thank you very much for the thousand bits, Zizal. We got it. We'll be fine. Everything will be fine. This time, all we have to do is... Something. I'm not sure what. But we'll figure it out. The opposite of what we did last time, basically. I think. Hit that button. What does that button do? That what does that do? Oh, that pops off that. Actually, can I turn that off? Oh, shit. Ow. Ow. Okay, and you're willing to you 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 may you you honestly tell me, Valve Valve believes that the Marines in Half Life can instantly pinpoint shoot those guys every single time you throw them at them. It's like bam 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 immediately shoot them. It's impossible. The Marines are using fucking aimbots, and it's not fair. Snarks against humans. You, you you get hurt. You get significantly hurt by snarks. They are a great asset when you are fighting a human enemy. Not when you're fighting fucking marines that can apparently 360 no-scope the snarks like they're nothing. <laughs> Just download an aimbot for immersion. <laughs> um, okay. That, that, you know what? Fuck it. I got a plan. This plan's the same as the last plan, isn't it? It's, it's just loops. We're just gonna do loops. Concentric circles, that's my plan. <laughs> you know what? It's working! It's working! 
continue my clockwise motion. Just keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Circles. They're like squares, but better. Whoa. Hey. That. Okay. That was, that was supposed to be like a gotcha moment. Hoping that would kill you, but quite obviously it's not going to. Well, it didn't. It could have, but it didn't. Whatever. Oh, hey, buddy. Down. Goodbye. Nope. Well, alright. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I was somehow stuck on that. I don't like it. Whatever. We did it. I don't like being stuck. IDK Oop. sounds like a skill issue. Yeah, you know. A lot of my problems are skill issues. In fact, every problem you have in life is basically a skill issue. You're poor. You were born to poor parents. That's a skill issue, really. Oh, hey. Hey, it's that guy's special cart. The Stephen Hawking dude from Decay. Neat. I like it. Do you ever wanna, have you ever had like the intrusive thought of being like, I wanna get in one of those and ride one of those around, but if I did do that, I'd probably look like an insensitive prick. They seem like a lot of fun. They've got a little joystick, do like sick wheelies and stuff, but you're like, there's no way I can get in one of these and drive them around without seeming a little bit insensitive. Killer, no, no, I'm sure it was just a, another disabled scientist. There can't be one disabled scientist in the entire facility. I did. It was amazing. You absolute ableist piece of shit. How dare you? Those are not toys. They are mobility scooters. I can't believe you would get in one of those and ride them around and have fun. Check your fucking privilege. Ban that, man. Thank you very much for the ten dollars. The gun. All right, in I go. Wee. Fuck. Well, second time's jump. Got this. Oh, hit. Have we? I think we have. Wee. Here we go. There we go. Nailed it. Whoop. 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 Sorry, guys. I'm trying to explore. Do not quell my wanderlust. Uh, anything interesting up here? That was, that was interesting. Neat. I like it. Allows me to shoot things. Evil bad things, because I'm a good upstanding marine. Need to keep reminding myself of that. Oh, that was a waste. Whatever. Looked cool. Keep reminding myself that I'm a good person. <laughs> that I shouldn't just shoot the scientists. Just because they bleed, it doesn't mean I should kill them. I'm a good guy. I'm good. When we have the eventual war crime trials at the end of this, and the Marines are being brought before a court, I can say, No, no, I didn't kill any of the scientists. I just watched my friends kill the scientists. I, I assure you, Your Honor, I didn't participate in the war crimes. I was, I was just, you know, benevolently watching. I wished no ill upon the scientists. Didn't even clean up their corpses. I just left them there to rot on the ground. Um, uh, there's got to be a button somewhere, right? Gotta be a, a turn off turret button. Um, or not. You know what? Alternatively. Oh, you bitch! You bitch! Stupid fucking door. Really? This is why automated doors are a bad idea. The facility itself is working against me. This isn't a three-way fight, this is a four-way fight. 
you've got the Xenians, you've got the scientists, you've got the marines, and then you've got the facility itself. It's a chaotic neutral entity. Um. Huh. Whoop! As I was saying. That wasn't an island doing that. That was the facility itself. Spawning in head crabs. Howdy all. I see Jolly is getting fired on, so I guess things are going well. Hey, the only time I've died in this mod so far was falling to my death. Uh, first of all, who thought another Neo Indie was a good idea? What do you mean Neo Indie? Second, how the hell are you just starting a stream at 12.30ish? Uh, Kojo is sti- is Stimkey? It's the middle of the day for me where I live. <laughs> it's- it's one- it's 2pm. What's your favorite comedy war crime, Jolly? Um... That's a good question. I don't know. Laughing gas? Because then it, I'll finally know what it feels like to have somebody laugh at me. And find me funny. I guess. And just be telling bad jokes while they slowly suffocate. And laugh themselves to death. That'd be nice. Read that again, but slowly. What's your favorite war crime, Jolly? No, there was somebody who said, what's your favorite funny war crime? Didn't, he, didn't somebody say funny war crime? Was there no funny there? Was there no funny in that message? I thought it was your favorite funny war crime. I was like, how would you make a war crime funny? And then I was like, laughing gas. And then you just tell shitty jokes in the background. Oh. Imagine that there are time zones. Imagine there is a little Imagine furry girl on my screen, zones. and I can't turn that off because Streamlabs doesn't let me. <laughs> War crimes are inherently funny to him. <laughs> Look, I'm not Hitler, alright? Sure, I'm a Twitch streamer dash YouTuber, which practically means I'm Hitler in a lot of people's eyes, but. You know, not Hitler. Alright. Uh, uh, oh, this way. Okay, head this way. Come back over here. Come back over here. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, no. I'm so scared of you. And there we go. Me. Ow. What? Wait, wait, what? What? Oh, I'm getting irradiated. It got some goo on me. Great. Sweet. This is like that time in the Spider Man comics where Spider Man accidentally gave Mary Jane ca rate, uh, cancer. He kept coming inside of her, and uh, his semen was radioactive because he was bitten by a radioactive spider. No, that's not a joke. That's an actual thing that happened. It was an actual thing that happened, and it wasn't even just like a side piece. No, it was the main centerpiece of the story. That Peter Parker was blowing so many loads inside Mary Jane that he gave her cancer. Those were the days. Back when comics were... Comics were taken more seriously, you know? They weren't these mainstream garbage. Ow, fuck off, headcrabs. Reminiscing about the good old days, headcrabs. Back in the... 1980s. Because it's currently the 1990s. When, when everything was great. Actually, I'm, I'm referring to, like, probably a couple of weeks ago. In fact, I'm pretty sure that comic run is happening right now, but, you know. I, I'm allowed to reminisce about things that happened five minutes ago, because it's the 90s, and everything is great. Except for, you know, what's going on right at this very moment, which is probably going to change the en entire course of human history. Or at least... Saved Hello. At last. Yes, you are. Wait a Open minute, the door. and I'll let you in. Open the door. Open it up. Oh. Well, still get to be a good guy. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> about to have to make a tough decision about whether to, you know, follow through with my mission or be a good person. 
and I was definitely leaning towards following through with my mission. But I don't have to. Old Phil's still got that plausible deniability. Hooray! Stefan, do you read me? Yes. Finally, this connection's been giving me help for a while reading. now. I see you reached the bio lab. Well, bad okay. news. Gordon Freeman's on the other end of Sector E. Nowhere near you. I oh, know. But there might be other scientists in this I area for you to track witch. down. Okay. I'll hunt them down. I mean, track them down. I would, I would hunt them down. No. That has connotations. That would imply this is a shit game. Built by a bunch of hacks. And that's not the case. Hi. Oh. What part of the armed forces are you with? Uh that's a good question. I think I'm a Marine, which makes me part of the army? I'm not sure. I just signed up for the free guns and the ability to shoot people. Right, I don't think I'm making a particularly convincing argument for this Barney right here. I don't think, I don't think he's particularly excited that I'm here. Doesn't seem to think his chances of survival with me are very high, judging by his dead silence. Um, I'll get through to you soon, Barney. Get through to you. And then I'll, um, leave no witnesses. Maybe? I don't know. Still a toss-up. Old, old Field, I, I almost feel like the world is conspiring to make sure Old Field doesn't commit the die on the Black Mesa p personnel. I just say commit the die. I did. Whatever. Oh, those those lines perfectly line up. Look at that. Look at that. That that lines up perfectly with that line in the background. Probably because they're all built on like the same graph. But that's kind of neat, huh? Oh, you figured it out this time. What do you mean? I don't. I don't understand. I genuinely don't remember any of this. Hand on heart. I, I I was not in a good state when I was streaming this the first time. ADHD at its finest. I just don't feel like... When I'm streaming, I've got a lot going on. It's a lot... A lot happening. <laughs> what crimes help up your KD ratio? I don't think it works like that. I don't actually think Hitler had a very high KD. That doesn't count. It's the people working at Auschwitz and those places that had the insanely high KDs, all right? And it really doesn't count either way, because it's like, if, if you're in a counter, if you're in a Counter-Strike game and you just start murdering the, the civilians, that doesn't count towards your KD, right? That doesn't work like that. That is technically not upping your KD. That's not how this works. In fact, I'm sure if you looked at the score sheet at the end of the game, you'd had like a minus 2,000 next to your name. I'm, I'm sure that's not how it works. The people with the highest KD would be like those Russian snipers on the Eastern Front. Or actually probably some German tank crew. Um, or, or some some German like on like a outpost that just kept laying into like Russian wave tactics or something. hell did I join into? Uh, arguing whether war crimes count towards your KD? <laughs> I think it's a good topic of conversation. What could possibly go wrong talking about this? Like, I don't think Pol Pot has a great KD. I think he's just a little bitch. Didn't deal direct damage, so it doesn't count as an assist either. Yeah, no, I... I it, yeah. I, I feel like the person with the actual highest KD is probably some dude on, like, a gun turret in World War One, Some, uh, like, Vickers gunner, just in World War One, just going... And just mowing down hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. 
<laughs> Stalin, Stalin's KD would be fucking garbage. Okay, sorry. I know we have to continue, but Stalin's KD would be so fucked because of all the team killing. Like, holy shit, dude. The amount of the amount of people he killed, directly or indirectly. I don't know whether that counts. I don't know whether being like these people don't need food, sending them to Siberia. I don't know whether that counts. But if it does, holy shit, it would be like in the minus hundreds of thousands. Anyways, let us continue. Um. Where, where would I where would I go? How to get to the Barney? Oh, that's how I get to the Barney. That's how I get to the ammo. Which is kind of like getting to a Barney. Barney is a great re repository of ammo. Depository? It's gonna say suppository, but I don't think he's shoving ammo up his butt. What is what is the word I'm looking for? You don't give them ammo. You shoot them and then you get ammo. Repository? Thinks the word I'm looking for. I don't know how to word good. We better, be careful. better be careful. Oh, I can just break through here. Oh, okay. Hey, Barney. Oh, okay. Just uh, don't shoot the Barney just yet. It's helpful. Come on, Barney. Let's fight. Let's go. Let's go, team. Let's go. Let's go, team. Or you can just walk around. Okay, I'll cover you. Or you can just hang out with me. Okay. Well, he's willing to follow me. And I do kind of need a new engineer. Barney, do you know how to use a, uh, welder? Do you, know, do you know how to use, like, a, a little burny thing that can burn through doors? I think that's called a welder. What are those called? I don't know. I'm a... I'm a millennial. I don't... I don't know how... How to work on stuff and things. Don't know don't know how to weld or fold clothes. Or Whoa hey! <laughs> Well Goodbye Barney Um Rest in peace buddy I I, I would give you a burial but honestly there's not much left to bury I, I think I think I'll just leave you the the head crabs to clean up. They'll nom on those delicious gibs. Barney got some tail. <laughs> yeah. The dangers of premarital sex. No matter how alluring that bull squid looks, don't go chasing its tail. You need Barney for hidden supplies. Yes. But I also need Barney dead for continuity. Uh, right. Oh, hey. Fucking head traps, dude. Little bastards. I swear modders know how to place head crabs to make them actually deadly. Oh. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Little donk on your head. Aw. Oh. It's getting discombobulated by the door. like hitting a pressure point on his head it's like making him lose all motor co motor control of his little corpse it's a little pressure point on the top of a head crab zombie's head that will just completely freeze it up all right um i'm having a great time but i'm, I'm... yeah i think i'll stay here and die 48 months of forgetting to unsub poro sad av Continue to forget to sub. Unsub. Don't forget to sub. Remember to sub. Don't remember to unsub. Look. You're a man after my own heart. We're both forgetful pieces of shit. Alright. It's good. You should stay here. You belong here. Um, right. What's the current plan? Find a way to enter the Gamma Labs. Thoughts. Some of the facility staff don't realize the true purpose of our mission. They believe the military is here to rescue them. That can actually come in handy, since now I'm cut off from the rest of the squad. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Oldfield. When did we learn of this? Our mission was classified. Was that... What, what? What? Were we sitting in the... In the truck and somebody was just like, Oh, I don't know what our mission is, but I do know we're here to kill all these scientists. 
I don't... I don't get it. I guess he put two and two together? I get, I, okay, actually, I do understand how... I, I get it. I get it now. He used what's known as common sense to figure out what's going on here. I, um... I unfortunately lack a lot of that, so I, I didn't really... Didn't really put two and two together that he put two and two together. Which is on me. Um, okay, guys. Uh... Yeah. I'm trying to think about the most economical way to take you guys out. And it's handgun. It's always handgun. Unless handgun uses... Does it use the same ammo? No, it doesn't. Oh, maybe it does. It does. No. And machine gun. What am I doing? Machine gun uses the same ammo as handgun, which makes absolutely no sense, because 9mm does not go on an M16. But, whatever. It's fine. Maybe it's a very special M16. Firing an incredibly small caliber bullet for some reason. Uh, would explain why it's so utterly useless compared to most other weapons in this game. Hey, buddy. Eating that scientist, eating that scientist. Ooh. Well, I'll leave you to it. Uh, turn this off. Nope. Biodome, control room, rise personnel only. Alright. Oh, hey, sir. Oh. <laughs> Oh. oh, hey, sir. I guess you want to get out of the lab. The shortest way to the surface Wouldn't from mind here it. is through the Gamma Complex. If you make it to his entrance, I can make it. All right, cool, thanks. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't get past that gargantua in the next room. Huh. My All right. control over the system is limited, but I can open the entrance back down in the corridor. All right. What's a gargantuan? I'm I'm new here. Is that? Is that a technical term, or... Ooh, hey. Yes. I'll need it. Uh, it was replying with good luck, although I had other things to worry about. Also, I thought that was a scientist. It's not. It's a picture of a scientist. <laughs> a clean environment is a healthy environment. Do your part. Okay. I feel like we'd have trash cleaning robots at Black Mesa, but whatever. Um... Oh, damn, bitch. What was I supposed to do? I was too distracted by... The by my own idiocy. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. Alright. Oh, Gotta kill that very full hound eye. Squad Sierra should oh. be somewhere in bio labs, but I've lost contact with them. I'm afraid you're on your own, buddy. Hey, don't call me buddy, pal. Yep, oh. they're probably dead. It's fine. I'm used to being alone. It's, uh, it's kind of what I'm good at. I'm not great with allies. I have a terrible tendency to shoot them in the head. I mean, have them be shot in the head by a Barney. Hound eye. Scientist. Whoop. Hello, sir. What the fuck was that? Like a ground attack? Whoop. Oh, ow. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Hey! No Barney! No Barney! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Excuse me? I'm one of them... I'm one of them good Marines. I'm one of them Marines that wasn't gonna kill you. But I guess I am now. Well, he shot first. I didn't shoot first. I'm not Han Solo. I'm a good guy. I'm like... I'm like Han Solo after... The special release. I am. I'm blameless. Can't blame me. I haven't killed a single innocent person. Uh. Was it the screaming before of Barney? Before I shot him in the head? Or. Or the siren? I don't know. It's a lot of sounds, to be perfectly honest. Also, disregard that Barney comment. It, it was, uh. It was a hound eye with a gun. Shot, shot the Barney in the head, not me. It's a, it's a head crab with an M16. Um, God, I'm a great liar. Uh, I guess I go back in here. 
Surely not. No, I don't. Don't save scum, keep the one HP. See, this is the problem I have. This is the problem I have, everybody. I don't save scum, right? I'll keep the one HP. And you know what will happen? Somebody in the comments of either the stream or a video that I make on this be like, Jolly, why the fuck did you not reload when you had one HP? What are you doing, you fucking idiot? Reload. Why would you not reload? You're such a fucking idiot. You're just making this harder on yourself for content. And then my response to that is usually, I like to keep the continuity. I don't like to reload my save every five minutes because then it generally leads to a less cohesive video. And then if I do reload my save and go, ah, fuck it, I'm too badly hurt. Somebody goes, wow, you save scumming? Oh, really? You're that bad? You have to reload your save every time you take some unexpected damage? Wow, wow. You're so terrible at video games. It's, um, it's a double-edged sword. So I, I choose just to continue on. You would look like Leon S. Kennedy without that ass chin. <laughs> That ass chin? That's that, that the that's one. just uh, it's just my beard, man. I also don't have the jawline for for Leon. I really, really don't. Look at that. Look at that soy ass jawline. Jawline. The biggest problem I have is my nose is actually. If you got rid of my nose. My jawline's actually pretty good, but then you have my nose into the mix and it makes my jawline look worse. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a problem. I don't look like Leon. If you want a, you want a content creator that looks like Leon Kennedy, look at Vinnie Vine Sauce. Hey, oh, sorry I'm late. I was watching a movie. No problem, Ultraviolet. Thank you so much, Darth Bong, for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Um, cheers. Vinny does not look like Leon. Okay, each their own. I think he looks kind of like Leon. Now the person looks mo hold on. I don't get why we have this whole Discord about who looks like Discord. Greetings, brother. Is is that the right word? Yeah, the Discord. Sorry, I instantly I, I said Discord. I was like, are oh, you stupid? That's just the name of a program, but the program is named after the word. Discourse is the word I was looking for. I am right. I was wrong. I'm right. I was wrong, and that was the wrong word. But, but when it's quite clear, um, it's like super fucking clear that New Leon is based off of Robert Patterson. Like really clear that, oh God, these photos look terrible. But like super, super clear. Ah. Uh, here we go. Uh, hmm. uh, 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 hold on. I have to open up this in an incognito tab. Because otherwise you can see my stupid... No, you can't. It's very clear that Leon is, Leon is based off of Robert Patterson. It, it, it's very, very, very clear that new Leon is, is just Robert. Um... Discourse is the word I was looking for. Um, he, ha he has the, he has the exact same chin, and everything. Even slightly older, like the old RE4. Like R no, it's not RE4. RE6 Leon kind of looks like Robert Patterson. Yeah. He, he could 100% play IRL Leon Kennedy. He, he'd probably be the perfect person for the role. You're saying Cap.com predicted Twilight. Twilight's not that bad. It's awful, but it's not that bad. Come on now. Oh, he does have an ass, ass chin. Called a cleft chin, you fuck. Boy, did I catch so much shit for having one before I grew, grew a beard. I almost had a cleft chin, but I didn't, because I got braces. 
can't believe they made Leon from the Resident Evil series into a real person. I'd volunteer Nick Cage for Leon. <laughs> I'd volunteer Nick Cage for any role. Come on now. He's the perfect fit. Uh, right. Where do I go now? I don't know. Let's go back up to the scientist. Maybe he's got something to say. Is there anything in here? No. Scientist? Nothing? Anything? This way? Nope. Where do I go? I don't know. I am confused. This is where I came from. Surely I don't go back here. Or maybe I do go back here. Um. Whoop. Whoop. What the fuck was that? Is Vortigon just try and get out of that room? I don't know. Not that way. Not that way. Chat every time Jolly shows his face. I don't know what that said. I don't know what that. I don't know what the the emotes were. I should go to 100 FOV. You're right, person in chat. Although it doesn't really matter because the biggest problem with Half Life isn't actually the FOE; it's that the the view model don't change, so they don't grow bigger or smaller with the FOV really. Um. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hi, sir. The pit crabs don't be seem especially lackadaisical today. They don't seem to put in much effort. Kind of have the big reveal of ah, I'm a head crab zombie, and then they just sort of give up. What? Uh, speaking of giving up, <laughs> was badly hurt. Was barely getting by. Little electric shock from the fucking rail line, and I was out. I was done. Squads here should be oh, somewhere fuck. by the fuck. Oh, I'm afraid you're on your own, buddy. Oh, whatever. Made a mistake. Made a small miscalculation. Don't judge me. Okay. No. Well, you have to go down in that. Uh, you have to just go down here. Nope, go down here first. Go visit that Barney that shoots at us. Whoop. Oh, yep, nope, yep, that's fine. Wasn't the scientist that we made friends with. And then he pops out saying, Die, bloodsucker. Shit. Get fucked. Alright, with that, let's keep going. Technically counts. What do you mean by technically counts? Oh. How long until Jolly's health goes below zero? Was that, that what you were saying? What is it? Sound of. Uh, that's a good question. What is the burp, 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 burp noise? I know it's supposed to be the sound of, like, computers and stuff, but computers don't sound like that. I've never heard a computer that goes Like, I hear computers go Because that's like the old hard drives that used to make noises all the time. But... Never heard a computer that goes And I should be a voice actor with great sound effects like that. Should, I should voice act for computers. For old 90s computers. Put that on my resume. Perfect at imitating old video games. Ah, whoa! Sector e. The noises of computers in old video games. I'm sure I'll get hired. I'll get hired to do work on some boomer shooter or something. Dot matrix printer. Oh, I guess they'd constantly be printing out readings, right? Uh, train. Can I... Ooh. Oh, hey. Yeah, I can. Let's go. Oh. Well. Not the longest train ride, but it was enjoyable. Had some fun. Saw some sights. Got some, got some good snaps. My little disposable camera. Shown to all my friends. When we get out of here, being like, oh, these were my times in Black Mesa. It was great. I really had a great time. A real spiritual adventure, you know?
We really learn a lot about different cultures and people. Also, totally, definitely didn't accidentally murder one of my friends. Never happened. It wasn't me. Uh, I can't get in there. I feel like the guard dog wouldn't want me getting in there. I think I think this would be a spiritual experience. This is this is a uh, this would be a healing adventure for anyone. Really learn a lot about yourself. How you cope under pressure. How you deal with a small animal trying to latch onto and fuck your face. Like, you can tell a lot about a person. About how they dealt with the Black Mesa incident. Am I done? What did I do? I didn't do anything. I'm back where I started. Like, I feel like... I, I I know I know people are gonna say, oh Jolly, that's not you, you wouldn't do that. But I feel like I'd be one of the people that would be horribly murdered at the start of the Black Mesa incident. Um, but maybe I wouldn't, you know? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I'd be somebody who survived in a little storage closet until the Oh hey, security override. Oh, I missed this. Whoop. Hey buddy. Be with you in a second. Oh, a couple of seconds, I'm sorry. I was a little tardy there. I said a second. More like six or seven. Ow. Don't goo me. Is he trying to shoot a head crab? Well, there goes what was left of my health. Oh! Hey, a genome. That's neat. Look at you. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Being up there, so you can't get to me. Keeping a oh, good distance. I can. All right, neat. Okay. Kill an alien with another alien. I like it. It's good. Biological warfare never goes wrong. It's the future of warfare. I'm sure. Oh. Don't know why we haven't used it before. Move over mustard gas. Now we have small little animals that we can throw at our enemies. Honestly, this is the complete antithesis of, of current warfare, isn't it? Throwing animals at your enemies is... We should move back to that. Fuck off, drones. Drones are dumb. You know what's cool? Getting a tiger, putting it in a cage, and then just sort of lobbing it at the enemy. And then opening the cage. Do you have any idea how bad it would be for morale knowing that there is a bloodthirsty tiger somewhere nearby wanting to eat your man flesh? Like it's been brought up and trained to eat humans? That would fuck with anyone. It'd be great. Like, you'd wake up in the morning and suddenly, like, Steve's, like, tent or, like, foxhole would just be empty and there'd be blood everywhere. It's brilliant. Fuck off, drones. With a little... Boom! There. Dead. Like, that's no fun. Where's the... Where's the there's no... There's no... Personality to that. You, you don't... You don't get to laugh as you watch, like, the... the GoPro footage that you've the, the GoPro that you've strapped to the tiger. It's the tiger moles the poor man and he's screaming for his life. No, it's too it's too informal, too quick with a drone. That's a pretty lady. Jolly, you would be the guy to start the incident. Also, those are called cougars. What? Aren't cougars those girls that go to bars who are of middle agedness and Fuck younger dudes. Pay you for the ten dollars. I'd be the guy to start the incident. Oh come on now. I'm not Gordon. Gordon's too smart to be me. Also I can talk. In fact, 
Gordon is the complete opposite of me. Gordon has many issues talking. I have many issues shutting the fuck up. Jolly, that is a boy. Well, that makes it even hotter. Hello, sir. I did a thing. Got some more scientists killed. Got the little deadly animal. Um, don't think it's actually going to be that helpful. I think, I think my guns probably do a, a better job, but thanks for telling me about them. Oh, hey, can I get that? Dang it. Can I get more of these? Oh, I can. You go. Oh, wait, hold on. I have Snark, and then Snark with a legendary skin. Huh. Neat. Wait, what does, what does the other Snark do? What does this do? What's the difference? Other than the fact he looks cool and superior to the other one. Because he's not some free-to-play newbie. Got cool skins. Oh, God. It's fine. Well? Well! That's the difference. Right. I'm glad they didn't aggro to me. He's a shiny. Oh, okay. He just didn't pay 20 bucks to run through a bunch of loot boxes for the legendary skin. 20 bucks, what am I saying? Nowadays it's like $2,000. And that's considered a steal. Because, oh, bro, dude, it's like the super legendary skin. Bro, look at it. It's so fucking cool. The coolest shit, man. Yeah, bro. All those fucking free-to-play newbies don't know what hit them. Look at it. I look so fucking cool. There's so much fucking rips, dude. Bro, I look fucking sick. I'm, I'm, I'm right now fighting myself not to go on a free-to-play rant. Not to, not to rant. About skins in video games and about how you're stupid for caring about them. Okay, sweet. Well, this is good. I can use these. I can use these to look cool and show off to all my friends that I have a cool, unique skin that they don't have. Make fun of them for not having like a sick $200 skin that I got. Not through skill, but through sheer chance, pumping hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars into a loot box system. What? Excuse me? Did you kill that? Wait, what? What are you doing? Oh yeah, Snark's throwing a- Snark's throwing a t Oh! They do attack me! They do attack me! How did you get up here, little guy? What? How did you get up here? Where are these things coming from? Oh, this is bad. Yes, right. Snarks do not attack other Zen flora and fauna. It's a fun quirk of Snarks. It's a lot of fun. The only way you learn about it is by throwing a bunch of them into a room of Zenians and having them all turn and come back to you. And at that point, little Jimmy goes, let's never use Snarks ever again. Hey, thank you very much for the tier one subscription, Polaris PNW. Thank you. And Rent Wood. Thank you very much for the Prime. So sorry. Thank you. We're going to bed because Jolly is going downhill. What do you mean by that? As in terms of content, viewership, the fact I'm literally going down an inclined scope, an inclined slope, nailed it, or just, you know, generally. Yet you still use Snarks in the same situation. Sometimes I'm not sure. I always knew they don't attack Vortigons. I didn't know they didn't attack Bull Squids. Mental state. Ranting. Just in general. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to prove you wrong. My next content will be, will be good. Because you're having a breakdown. Am I? I don't know. I, I won't, it, it, this won't be the longest stream today. But, um... It'll, it'll be a, it'll be a little bit longer. I know I started late and I apologize because a lot of people want to get to sleep. But um, lack of rant. I'm just gonna pee, stand up, stretch a bit, and then uh, we'll be back to it. Resolve ASAP.
I'm not ranting. I'm not ranting about loot boxes and why they're useless and why modern day gaming is fucked and the people that fund modern day gaming don't realize that they have basically fucked themselves up. And everybody nowadays and all the kiddies nowadays just will will give money to these companies for no fucking reason. Like I spend if I if I spend a hundred dollars on a piece of clothing, I spend a lot of time being like, I'm, I don't know, nah, it's not right. I don't want that one. No, <sighs> like if I'm spending a hundred dollars on a jacket, you can be damn sure I'm going to spend a lot of time looking at many different jackets before I buy one, right? Right? Like if I'm spending money on something, I'm going to consider a lot of options. Yet people will put in hundreds of dollars into a loot box system, a gacha loot box system, without blinking a f- fucking... No, nobody will blink an eye. Nobody will care because that's just what they do. I'm not doing this right. I'm not in a very ranty mood. But you get what I mean, right? It's ridiculous. It's... I, I don't understand it. Like, fuck, at least spend that money on, like, something that is... creative... Yet a complete waste of money, like Warhammer 40k. <laughs> let's be clear. Let's be clear. I'm not saying that the miniatures of 40k or the act of painting them is a waste of money. I'm saying that they are horribly overpriced in their current state and should be about half as expensive as they currently are. Especially with the advent of like 3D printing and everything, there is no reason they are still as expensive as they are. Because they tapped into gambling. Also, also, it was just normalized. Kids nowadays grow up with these systems being the default. Which is fucking disgusting. Like, I'm... This is a hot take. I genuinely believe WoW and MMOs are where this started. I know people are going to say TF2, but I don't agree. TF2 is was kind of the genesis of loot boxes. But WoW's constant goading on to continue go, oh, you got to get a level up. Well, look at the fancy level up animation. And oh, you get to put 5% more crit damage on your character. And oh, get this fancy new little creature that's effectively just a skin. And oh, do the It's insidious. And then it teaches your brain that that is good. That that gives you the dopamines. And that's good. And eventually the dopamine rush wears off, right? I don't think anybody playing WoW or any of those things today, when they get a new mount, they're like, Oh, a new mount! Oh, I leveled up. I can get a new skill. Like, that's all gone. It's just the residual, this is what you're supposed to do. Good night. <laughs> it's... I, I think... M- no, I know... I know MMOs were around for years before WoW, wave speak. Uh, I know MMOs were around for years before WoW, but WoW was the one that really popularized the genre and sort of took away a lot of the RP elements and replaced them with more progression-focused bullshit. This is so worth the $5. <laughs> I, I, like, and and now now that that it's slowly it's like the pendulum's swinging back the other way, right? A lot of people nowadays are like, "Where is my, where is my story focused game that's all about a a good story and then it finishes and then everything ties itself up? It doesn't just keep running onwards forever and ever and ever. It isn't about getting money out of me or anything like that. Like, there's a big pushback, but I am going to the bathroom." Not currently, I'm not peeing myself, but I am going to the bathroom in a second. I I, I am not currently wearing Depends or some sort of adult diaper. I probably should be. It would make me far more efficient. Um, TF2 TF2 was kind of the genesis of, oh, we can make people gamble for this stuff. But it was such such a background system that wasn't forced in your face. I know, I know I sound like I'm, I'm giving Valve a way out here, but I, 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 I don't feel like Valve's, Valve did it, 
and it worked. And then everybody else did it in a more scummy and fucked up way. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not good. And then I've, I've heard stories of kids getting bullied for not having skins in Fortnite. And I'm like, what? You're still playing the same game. Who gives a shit? Like, if, if my kid, if I had a kid, let's say li the little Jimmy, little Jimmy, and he's like, all oh, my friends are making fun of me because I don't have a skin. I would be like, little Jimmy, you are superior to them because you don't have a skin. They've spent fucking money on this bullshit. I will buy you however many pieces of chocolate or like a cool toy you want. And you can show it to them and be like, haha, I have this. You have some shitty skin in the game. You name your kid Junior. I name him Jimmy. Haha, <laughs> you don't have a John Wick skin. You're poor. Pretty much. They're status symbols. That's also why it's just cosmetics is bullshit. Yeah, especially for kids. Um, it's dumb. Uh, hot take. Don't give your kids any access to online content. Just slap them with a damn PS2. A hydrophobic water. That's what happened to me. I, I had a PlayStation 3 when all my friends had Xboxes. It fucked up my social standing. Uh, uh, almost irreparably. I, I don't, that's not the word I want. Um, but it, it's close enough. Uh, and made my childhood, well, my teenage years, uh, far less enjoyable. Uh, so I don't recommend that. <laughs> uh, I, I was the PS3 kid when all my friends were the Xbox kids and they'd come in and be like, oh, we had so much fun playing like hardcore team deathmatch last night. And I was like, yeah, I played team deathmatch by myself for many hours and it was irreparable. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, it was, it was one, of, one of those things where it was like they would come in and tell me about all the funny stories and then show me it on like their uh, like phone and stuff because they'd like record it. Um, and it's like, oh, this is what I'm missing out on. And every time I went home, I was like, mom, I want an Xbox. My brother would be like, we have a PlayStation. We don't need an Xbox, all right? All right, we have a PlayStation. He's just trying to, he's just trying to get you to buy something we don't need, mom. And it took years. It was, it was this year, I think. I think I have the message somewhere. I, I have the genuine message from my brother where he linked me a meme which was, like, which was pretty much this. It was like, uh, like a guy like sad against the window where it was like when all your friends have a different console than you have so you can't play with them. And he was like, lol, remember this? This was you growing up. We should have had an Xbox, lol. And I was like, you finally admitted it! It took how many years for you to be like, oh, maybe we should have actually had an Xbox. It, ugh. I had to convince all my friends that PC gaming was better. And I did. I did eventually convince them all through, through years of like Warcraft 3 LAN lobby, lobbies. and No, you, don't have, don't, you have no idea, Outlaw, how fucking mad this made me because I was like a 13-year-old and I could not articulate myself in a way that would convince my parents to get us even a secondhand Xbox. My mate was selling one for like 200 bucks and I almost convinced my parents to get one and they went... Uh, no, no, no. Christian said, uh, my brother, my brother's name's Christian. Uh, Christian says that we, we already have a PlayStation 3 and that can do everything you need. And it, it, it's, uh, we don't need it. And I'm like, just, yeah. so then eventually all my friends moved to PC and for like the last year, it was year 11 that I hung out and played PC with them. And then year 12, I just completely ghosted them and because they were shit. They, would, they were shit to me. Um, far better to me now that they're older and more mature, but they, they, I was the lowest on the totem pole because I didn't have an Xbox, so I never got to play with them. So I didn't know what the fuck they were doing and they were all hanging out, socializing, and I wasn't. Um, uh, so your brother console cucked you. Pretty much, that was it. Uh, but whatever. It turned me into the cynical piece of shit I am today. 
Um, same group of friends then. Hey, oh no, I, I don't hang out with them anymore. Uh, but the one that I used to have the beef with the most was the only one that kept inviting me to his birthdays. And I was the only one of the friend group that would turn up to his birthdays. And so we actually kind of got a little closer as, as the years went on, which was fun. And then I stopped getting invited, but that was, that was fair. We weren't really friends at that point. Um, that was weird. Anyways, be right back. Need to pee. Good guy, Jolly. I mean, it was, it felt like the right thing to do. He was kind enough to invite me. Um, fun fact, my, <laughs> you want to hear something really depressing. The reason I stopped hanging out with these guys. And now I see you bigger than ever. It's amazing. A am I bigger than ever? I don't know. I feel like I peaked like four years, three years ago, but I'm getting back there. I'm going to get back there. Mark my words. We're getting back there. Next video and the video after that going to be toppers. Fuck toppers. I'm doing that thing where I see internet slang. I start using it ironically and then I start using it unironically and then it just becomes part of my vocabulary. Um, my webcam is bigger. <laughs> it is today. Well, no, it's been bigger. Um, reason I stopped hanging out with all my friends is I had a paintball party when I was in year 11. I invited 20 people. That's a lot of people. But I invited them with the idea, with my parents being like, Jolly doesn't hang out with anyone outside of school. We need, we, we, we're willing to host a pretty big party to get more people to hang out with him. Of those 20 people I invited, 18 of them RSVP'd as going. How many of them do you reckon turned up? How many of them do you reckon turned up? Okay, you guys, you guys going a little too low. Four of them. Oh no, five of them turned up. Five of them turned up. None of the people that turned up were the people I would consider my friends. None of them. And I think the people that did turn up were very surprised that they were the ones that turned up. None of my actual friends turned up. Um... So there was, luckily there were six of us, so we could actually play it. I think most of the people that rock, rocked up just wanted to play paint, paintball. They didn't give a shit that it was my birthday. But we had, a, we had a surprisingly good time, but I was devastated. I was actually devastated that none of these people turned up. Like, it was, that was the moment where it was just like, fuck it, these aren't my friends. I'm not hanging out with them anymore. And I also had a, a laptop at that point. The school gave everybody laptops. So I just hung out in a, in the art room and on my laptop. Um, that's fucked. It was, it was life at that point. Um, however, I, we, we, we played paintball. We came home. We watched Scott Pilgrim. And everybody liked Scott Pilgrim and liked the paintball. So it could have gone worse. Uh, so this is your villain backstory. No, it was just... Uh, it, was, it was the intro to Jolly's uh, Year 12 also known in his, as his depression arc, <laughs> where I was really wasn't happy with anybody um, and just sort of hung out in a room alone. Um, ta taught, me how to, taught me how to function really well without friends, uh, which then kind of carried me for the next five to six years as I pretty much didn't hang out with anyone. Um, the best arc. I don't think so. Uh, anyways, it was... Uh, <laughs> it was not it was not exactly the birthday party I wanted. Uh it's not it was not exactly the, the sweet sixteenth I was hoping for. But um yeah. I think it was my sixteenth or my seventeenth. I think it was my sixteenth. Um so the arc seventy five percent of us are on. You can make friends. Yet again, it's a it, it was a great way to learn that they weren't really my friends. Go pee. I am Yeah, at least they had birthday parties, right? Like, at least they had a really lovely family that cared about me. And then also berated me about not having friends. But that's a whole different story.
All right, let's do this. Thank you very much again, Polaris and Sir Gundam. Thank you very much for the twenty dollars, Sir Gundam. That really means a lot. And Rentwood and Darth Bong. Let's continue. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta respond to you, Bav. I'm sorry, man. I will do it. I'll give it a shot. It'll probably be shit, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, right, where we left off. Snarks with a legendary skin. Neat. This is some pay-to-win bullshit, isn't it? The Snark gets the legendary skin, and then he also gets an explosion effect. Like, I'm not sure how that's balanced. Whoa, hey. Dude, good jump. Good jump, little headcrab. Got some legs on you. Is there any reason for this being here? I don't feel like there was. Why, 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 specimen observation area? Oh. Explosive material may damage machinery. Do I want to make an explosion then? Just let it explode. Let's see what happens. Can I get in here? No. We'll explode in a second, right? Or not? Yeah. That. Nope. Alright, that was a complete waste of time. Good. I'm glad. Wasting time is what I'm about. Gotta pad that runtime. Gotta make sure old fields still fucking about in the facility when the nuke goes off. Um, oh, hey. Modification specimen. You combine two head crabs. You get one legendary explosive head crab. Oh, that's neat. I like it. That's good. Makes it much less pay to win. You combine your lowly regular headcrab skins together to get one legendary. You don't even have to spend money. But if you don't spend money, you won't get the extra special shiny effect. Not that that matters, right? You wouldn't pay money just to have your skin sparkle a bit. Surely not. No. Because you're a well-adjusted member of society. And not some filthy degenerate gamer. Where the fuck do I go? I have no idea. Specimen testing lab. It feels like I should be doing something over here. Work safe. Port immedi spills immediately. Is it bad that I... First saw that as wo woke safe. Have I been on the internet too much? I feel like I've been on the internet too much. It's like, huh, huh, woke safe. What does that mean? That there's an acceptable amount of minorities and women working at this facility? Huh, 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 huh. Um, oh, hey. Old fields beginning to, uh, whoop, oh, yep. I think he understands what the scientist was talking about when he said gargantuan. Uh, oh, hey, right. How would I get through here without dying? Probably just by running. Well, okay. What? Gargantuan kills anything that moves and lives, but not crickets, apparently. Uh, for the healing pool. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know what my plan was there. <laughs> In fact, I don't think I had a plan. I don't think there was a plan. Don't you live on the Reddit? I had a little lean in there. Yeah. What are they? Look, I'm not saying I'm not saying that I'm like I'm I'm a fan of like go work, go broke. It's just that it exists a lot. You see a lot of it you see a lot of fucking dillweeds posting about it online. I, I have a Twitter account. It's impossible not to see those jackasses. They exist. They're a thing. How long until Jelly dies? Stop doing this. What mod is this? Uh, it's in the title. Explode, please. That's actually really not the most efficient way to kill things, is it? Two, three, two to three minutes. Well, not two to three minutes. Feels like two to three minutes for me. 
because my sense of time is completely fucked. But like 30 seconds of just standing around waiting for an explosion. It's not exactly thrilling from a gameplay perspective. They tend to be right about it too, except for like 90% of the time when they're wrong. Oh, the new Little Mermaid movie is good start. No, it's going to crash and burn. It's made $300 million in its first week and has already broken even. And he's projected to earn up uh, upwards of $500 million. Not to say that uh, Disney's cash grabbing of old franchises, turning them live action is a good thing, but they succeed. Anyways. Like, it, uh, yeah. These people making these decisions generally know what's up. They're money-hungry pieces of shit, but the fact that they are money-hungry pieces of shit generally means they know what they're doing to make more money and fuck over the consumer in various interesting ways. Okay, well, we've done this before, so I don't know what the plan is. Wait, hold on. I have an idea. Um... Eh. Fix the problem, little guys. Do it. Yeah, attack the gargantuan. Even though that's technically a Zenian creature, but it means that you shouldn't actually attack it, and it shouldn't actually be a an enemy in your guys' eyes. But holy shit! Wow. Those guys pack a punch, huh? Yeah, right, okay. Note to self. When you throw explosive snark, do not stand near explosive snark. If it chases you, panic. Panic hard and panic fast. Panic in the opposite direction of the snark chasing you. That seems a little overpowered. Nonsense. It's perfectly balanced. Ooh, what? What is this? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, I did. Don't know about the little snark, because technically I didn't kill the gargantuan. That was, that was them. Yeah, I didn't know snarks would attack other Xenians either. I guess it does. I guess those... Gargantuans do kind of look like giant bipedal humans, but whatever. Night, Bav. Oh, no, Night, Bav. Bav's, Bav, it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon for Bav. All right. All right, let's go. Uh, can you heal me? You have a syringe on that clean suit of yours? Am I being fine? You won't even know I'm here. Nope, apparently not. Um, can go this way? You can't open this for me, can you? Nope. Let's go this way then. Uh, there's probably an eye scanner I can use somewhere. And by I can use, I can use, you can use this. Uh, I, I, I don't see eye to eye with those eye scanners. <laughs> uh, 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 shit, first impressions, old field. God damn it, dude. Fuck this shit up. Stop making friends, man, don't you? Never leave a good first impression. Always have to go with the shitty puns. Shit. Hey, hey, hey. Stop getting stuck on the head crap corpses. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, you're a strong independent scientist. Doesn't need no big gruff military man navigating you around. Fuck. No. Nope. Yep. Nope. Run in the other direction. Okay. Uh. Don't run towards him. Oh no. Woo. Oh. Yes. Right. Well. That works. That definitely works. Um. Calculated. Knew what I was doing. Is there a scanner somewhere? Ooh, there's a scanner. Whoa, no! My dice! Oh, 
<laughs> the entrance of the Gamacron flexes at the end of this corridor. He says as he runs in the opposite direction, cows in a room. I mean, it was the right move, but... <laughs> Poor timing to say that. Oh, hey. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to knife these guys. No, 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 you stay here. Slowing you down, am I? Nope. The way. You're not slowing me down. I'm just scared you're about to die. Uh, is there anything in here? Nothing. Shit. That odor isn't coming from you. I may have crapped myself once or twice. What of it? Whoop. Ow. What was that? What was that? What was that AoE attack bullshit? Um, I need ammo. Can I find some ammo? What the fuck is this hound I doing? Come here. Come back. Come back. I'm gonna stab you. What the fuck's going on in there? It's a bull squid. Come back. Where are you going? Stop running away! Oh, it was a trap! Clever girl. Clever girl. Oh, that's some bullshit though. The entrance to the gamma complex is at the end of this hallway. Let's go. Yes, in a second. I don't suppose you'd reconsider. Nope. In a second. I said in a second. You don't tell me what to do. I'm the man with the knife and the arsenal of weaponry with no ammo. Looks like the bets are off. It's just Jurassic Park to you. Yep. I blame that on the giant fetus baby, to be honest. He's the brains of the operation. I need to find ammo. I need to find ammo. Where would, where would ammo be? If I was ammo, where would I be? It's got to be some ammo somewhere. Oh, there's a healing pool. It's on the time. All right. Well, let's just relax for a little bit. I wish I had one of these. It'd be great. Just like a jacuzzi filled with healing goo. You could just pop yourself in. Back stops aching. Your muscles all relax. That's great. Oh, hey, so I started getting massages recently while we're searching for ammo. Is there anything over here? Started getting massages recently because they're, they're, they're covered under my health insurance. Um, and I, I get cheaper health insurance because I am I am technically a business, which is neat. Um, so, so like, they cost me like 40 bucks, so I get one, one a month. And like it's it's like totally worth my money because it, once once a month for like a massage when I, I run and lift weights every single day is actually totally worth the time and effort. However, the person that's giving you the massages is while she is great at what she does, she's also one of those like spiritual healing crystal people, and I didn't know that until after I'd made three or four crystal jokes. And it made, it made for a very awkward conversation, as I, I, I'm not explaining this particularly well. I, I will have a more in-depth version of this story in future. But, but basically, <laughs> over the course of a massage session, I figured out that she's, she's a little bit on the, the, like, spiritual healing side of things. And I opened up the conversations with some, uh, some jokes about healing crystals that she didn't take too well, and I just thought they were bad jokes, but they're actually quite funny jokes, and she's just, uh, a little bit spiritual. I'm scared to ask if she was also hot. She would have been hot, like, uh, 25, 30, 40 years ago. She's, like, in her mid-50s. Wait, 40 years ago. She'd be 10 then. Uh, no, uh, 30, 20 years ago. <laughs> it's 20, 10... She's hot. Yeah, she's hot. She's super hot. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> my math was off. She's early 60s, you know. Um, but, uh, like, I was... I made these jokes at the start where she was like, Oh, yeah, no, like... Uh, like, oh, like, massages help and everything. 
and it was like, oh, you know, like, uh, uh, I can't remember how the joke went. It was along the li lines of, is this the part where you pull out the healing crystals and realign my chakras? And she goes, ah, no, no, I don't do that. At least not here. And it was something like that. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, oh, that's like a follow-up to the joke. It's a really funny, fo like a little, a little, little bit of banter, like backwards and forwards. And I thought that was amusing. So I laughed. But when, as the session went on, she's just like, oh yeah, you should, you should use this in con conjunction with um, some essential oils and some uh, Epsom salts. You should have a big bath and just put some of that in. It'll help, it'll help release all that lactic acid um, and really help like mellow out your body. And I'm like, this is, this is some quack bullshit. <laughs> but that was like right at the end. And I was like, oh no. Oh no, I was insulting quack bullshit for like the first 15 minutes of this conversation. Oh no, I hope she gave me a good massage and isn't just like this piece of shit. Thinks I'm, thinks I'm just full of crap. I'll show him. And my neck was sore for the next couple of days, but now it's not lo no longer sore and now I don't have any back pain. So, quite obviously worked, but... Oh my god, John Ward Boar? What? What the fuck are you saying, Headrock's Trash? So you tried applying your funny man skills in real life. Unironically, she legit said to me, Are you a stand up comedian when I said I was a content creator? So I applied my funny man skills in real life, and apparently I did a pretty damn good job of it. I'm not talking myself up here, but if, you, if you're going to insult me, I'm going to bring it up. For reals. Hand on heart. So, so that was that was good. What's the plot of this? Um, basically, I am Oldfield. I've been sent in here to uh, help the scientists by removing them from the situation. And by remove them from the... Yes! Okay. Now we can return... How would I return? Where did I go? Where did I come from? I don't know. <laughs> uh, how do I get back to where I should be? But, but she, she, ah, yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right. With my brains and your brawn, we'll make an excellent team. Yes. And my ammunition that I just found. Uh, you know, wait. Yes. Run down here, you spawn in. You die. Um, and now I can jump in here. Is there any ammo in here? Nope. Right. Well, we'll be fine. We still got five shots. Five shots is all I need. Uh, or maybe I can find something in here. Ooh, I can find stuff in here. Yoink. Hey, hey, crab zombie. You got any ammo on you? Got some nine millimeter? Anything? No? Okay. <laughs> fix up that problem. I don't want that biting me in the ass. Well, hey! Well, not the way I want to go. But it might be the way I want to go in a second. There's nothing to chaos theory? I don't remember mentioning chaos theory, but yeah. yeah. No, I still think that's quackery. Slight crystals. They're not real. They can't hurt you. They don't do anything. They're just pieces of metal. Not metal. Pieces of rock. Not an issue. They couldn't have any sort of adverse effects. You can chuck them in any old machinery. They won't do shit. No, stop that. No hurting my scientist friend. Nope, nope. <laughs> right before you Whoop. Oh, hey. Whoop. Nope, stop Sorry, running away. You're talking to me. Get the alpha satellite in orbit. Right, okay. But, uh, I, I, I was talking to my buddies before and they said I should kill you. So those seem like conflicting instructions. I guess I could do both of those things. Yes, let's go. Glad you agree. I'll kill you after we launch the satellite. They also tried to say something about you, military forces. Sadly, the connection was broken. Oh wow. The Lambda team just wanted you to help them with the rocket launch. Yeah, I'm sure that's what they wanted. Now, uh, do you have any other security doors you need to open anywhere else around here? Might want to open for me. You have no idea what is going on, do you? Nope. But I do have an idea of 
what's going to be going into you in a second. Uh, that came out wrong. I what I want to put Lambda in lab can get this under you. control. Let's, uh, what I'm, uh, what I'm fucking you up with soon. No, this is getting worse. You see, lamp, lamp, to lab, lamp, to lab. It gets it under control. I agree. They should get it under control. Button. Sweet. All right. Let's go, team. I certainly hope you know what you're doing. I don't. What? No! No! Ah, oh, shit. That's actually an interesting piece of information regarding the satellite. Oh. Hey. Kevin, can you keep this between you and me? I don't the want my paid off. going to be happy with rockets going off during their operation. Okay. I forwarded them the message. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, let's let's focus on the rockets going off. And not the fact that it didn't, didn't do what I was sent in here for. Is this door just going to open? Can I just open this door? Oh, hey, this door just opens. Huh, neat. It's an automatic door. That's cool. That's also cool. Neat. Kevin, what's that? Are these the super soldiers? the lab where we're making the super soldiers. That's neat. That's cool, Kevin. Glad you're here with me and you can hear everything I'm saying. That's neat. Wish I knew that before, Kevin. Thought you were just contacting me occasionally. Oh, hey, Kevin. Enemy shooting at me, Kevin. Say something, Kevin. Tell me what to do, Kevin. Should I shoot him, Kevin? I'm gonna shoot him, Kevin. There we go. Fucked him up, Kevin. Good to know I have a little friend with me. So I can murder the scientists while still having a buddy with me. Won't be mad that I'm shooting his friend. And will encourage me in my endless killings. This is great. It's like being schizophrenic, but not being schizophrenic. It's neat. I like it. The voices in my head tell me to kill. And the voices in my head. There's one voice. And my voice in, and the voice in my head is called Kevin. There we go. Not doing the best today, but getting the point across. Sometimes I have to reword lines after I've already said them. But whatever. Caution. Tarot shooty. Gotcha. Thanks for letting me know. Why did Black Mesa have to put up this sign? Was the automated defense system just really temperamental? And occasionally, if you hear a beeping noise, the automated turret system may be online by accident and may just shoot you. Be careful, scientists. Like, that doesn't seem okay. That doesn't seem right. Because there's a turret there. Yeah, but why would the turret ever be online? Whoop. 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 It's fine. It's fine. Over here. Ooh, valve. Sweet. Oh, that turns off the steam. Sweet. These must be the same oh, suits hey. as the one that yes. Gordon Freeman wears. Gibby, 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 Gibby. Looks like those suits have tracking devices give it. on them. Assuming give it. Gordon's give it. does too, we should be able to track his movement through the facility. I want it. I want, I want it. Fuck my military suit. Fuck my recharging armor. I w let me in it. Let me in it. I'll spray paint it military green so I can wear it. I'll do whatever I have to do. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bitch. Whatever. I'll just use my, my rechargeable armor that's pretty much the same thing. Kind of, sort of, but doesn't protect my arms or my legs. Bullshit, man. That's bullshit. Is this the free to hunt down the Freeman? Yes. Will it get you to continue to watch if I say yes? So then definitely. 100%. Sector C, waste of cycle. Whoop! Pardon me. Ah, oh, well, that was a waste of ammo. Whatever. Oh, boy. It's great. Always remember, switching to your sidearm that has no ammo in it is significantly slower than reloading. Alright, hey buddy. Ooh, right. Still surprised those... I've said this a million times, I'll say it again. The, the HEV suit wearing zombies, 
in Black Mesa should have been zombies. Not in this, but in Black Mesa, the remake of Half-Life 1, that they should have been zombies. That would have really varied things up. I'm only watching, so long as you make funny jokes. I want at least one per minute. Well, you're still here, so s your bar for what is funny must be very low. What if they long jumped at you? I mean, that's pretty much what zombies do. Alright. That name is pretty HEV suit. I wish I had a pretty HEV suit. It's right there. Oh, hey. Wow. Stephen Hawkins sh sure picked a bad day for a visit. Atlanta, please don't leave. It wasn't that shit of a joke. It's funny. It's quick witted. Um. Hmm. Well. He gets to live. Doesn't that speak incredibly badly of every other scientist in this facility? If a guy in a fucking wheelchair manages to survive the Black Mesa in incident. Like if a man in a motorized scooter that is physically disabled is able to make his way out of this facility. What does that say about every scientist that has eat, eat, ate shit and died? Like... I think that speaks volumes about the uh, quality or lack thereof of Black Mesa scientists. Goodbye. Wow. I, I imagine those head crabs that attach themselves to- Oh, a chum toad! Oh, chum toad! Dang it! That little chum toad was in pain. I could have helped him. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. Those head crabs that latch onto the HEV v sci H -E -V suit wearing scientists must feel so cheated when I just shoot them in the head repeatedly. Like, they must have thought they hit the goddamn jackpot. They get to wear... They, they basically have a suit of armor that they can abuse to be basically super headcrab zombies. But, unfortunately, the suit of armor doesn't cover their squishy little body. Like, that's gotta suck. And they're like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck everybody up. I'm basically in a mech right now. This is great. Oh no, he's shooting me in the head. Oh, I'm dead. All right. Well, I went out like every other headcrab zombie. I was basically just a reskin. That's great. Anything's a dildo if you're brave enough. Oh shit! Hold on. Am I getting that? Nope. You get in here? Nope, there's a little head crab in there. Wow. You got the short end of the stick there, huh, buddy? Teleported into a facility filled with delicious scientists you to latch onto. And you get teleported into a little prison. For me to laugh at you in. Greetings, brother. For me to look at you and laugh at and point at you. In. Why does this, this sentence sound wrong? I don't know what's going on. It's saying words poorly. Wah! Words are hard sometimes. God, golf tonight is going to be a fucking trip, man. Oh, hey, excuse me. You were dead. You're not supposed to continue shooting at me after you've died. It's a dick move. Oh, Rookle PPI, thank you very much for the 14 months. Who would win, Gordon Freeman or a clan elemental? I don't know what a clan elemental is. It's a very generic name. Oh, I actually caught a stream for one. She has 10 tentacles. Welcome. Oh, goodbye. A lot of, a lot of, head crabs get the short end of the stick a lot, don't they? Poor little guys, they really can't catch a break. Like, even when they win, they lose. They are always at the bottom of the totem pole. You'd think, you'd think eventually one of them would, like, find a situation in which they were, like, 
strong and powerful, but no. Nope, they're always jobbers. Even when they've got HEV suits on, they die like little bitches. Whoa! Hey, oh, I was gonna say. That poor disabled scientist, but I think this is a different disabled scientist. Also, I'm sure that happened because of the little ledge right there. <laughs> or alternatively, he tried to do a sick trip trick. Lift wasn't working, just sent it. Full send, straight off the edge. <laughs> the Black Mesa incident happened and he's like, Man, I've always wanted to drive one of these things. Finally, nobody's around to judge me. I can have as much fun as I want. Oh, they always said it was insensitive. When I asked whether I could jump on one of the mobility scooters. Now they're not here to tell me what's going on. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be sick. I'm gonna do sick jumps. It's gonna be fucking awesome, man. <laughs> gonna do a kick flip. <laughs> a man just died and you make fun of him. Look, a lot of men have died today. One death is a tragedy. Many deaths is a st statistic. So many people have died, it's kind of hard to mourn just one or two of them. So instead I will make fun of all of them. Oh shit. Let's have ammo. No, sorry. Die quietly, please. Oh, Ooh, hey, crystal. I should take that with me. Realign my chakras while I'm fighting. It's my crystal. It's I, I'm born. I'm born in December, so I, I, I. My my crystal of choice is topaz. And that looks a lot like topaz. It looks nothing like topaz. What does topaz is blue, isn't it? What crystal is red and glows? Jolly makes death a comedy. Death is a comedy, let's be real here. Everybody dies. Not some tragedy. But everybody makes it out of there. Whoa! He just. What? Did, what? Did you just. EMP your friend? Whatever it is. Zappy Zappy to bring him back to life? I don't know what that's called. I don't watch enough medical shows on TV. Thing there where they go. You just do that to your friend? That's real neat. Also very problematic. I don't like that. Water guns are annoying enough without them being able to come back to life. Defrib, but that's the word I'm looking for, not EMP. EMP does look, use electricity though, so it was, it's in the right area. Not really. Whatever. Jelly doesn't know what a defibrillator is. Oh, I've used them in Call of Duty and Battlefield. Come on now. Mostly Battlefield. I don't think Call of Duty has them. I've used them in Battlefield. I know what a defibrillator is. I just forgot the word at that specific point in time. Look, today's not been a great day for me. Thinking has been hard. Talking has been hard. And I know you're going to say, Jolly, isn't every day a day where thinking is hard and talking is hard? Yes, but especially so today. It's just one of those days. Tentacles, you have great days? I do have great days. Every day where I'm not streaming to you idiots. I mean, that's that was very, that was very mean. That's not true. It's not every day where I'm not streaming to you idiots. It's most days. Oh, hey, Talcan. Sweet. What what happened to that scientist before? He's probably just hanging out, chilling. Thinking, oh boy, that sign, uh, that military man's gonna go and fix this whole issue. No, actually, he's probably not thinking that. But like, oh god, oh shit, everything's going wrong. We're gonna die here. We're gonna die. Okay, wait, hold on. Yeah. That's what I'd be thinking, at least. Or alternatively, do you think I could still get an Uber? Do you think if I if I opened up the app, I could get somebody to come out here? 
Squad November is right above your current location. Join them in their search for Freeman. All right, hunt down the Freeman. Gotcha. He keeps saying search, but it's quite clear he wants me to hunt him down. I don't know why they're so adverse to the word hunt. First time on stream. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Oh, hey, Gigi. Uh, thoughts. Kevin is very concerned about this Freeman guy. Must be a dangerous one. Hate not to... Hate not being in the loop about current developments. Uh, Oldman, do you... Are you also not happy about not being in the loop about how this is basically just... Uh... Us genociding this facility. Do you think maybe we should have been told this before we were sent in? Was it just kept from us because we knew we'd have ethical concerns? Because we were a little bitch like that? We think about how this would affect our psyche and about how we don't like killing innocent people? Because we're a fucking dweeb? At least Kellen Kevin is well informed. Well, see, he always sees the best in people. Even if, even if Kevin is encouraging us to basically murder a bunch of innocent people. Whoa, hey. I'm scared when I hear the teleport in sound effect. When I hear something teleport in. And more often than not, it's just a head crab. Honestly, a lot of the times I've been like, oh no, oh no! It's fine. We're fine. That was an oh no moment. The head crab was a red herring. We're fine. Oh, another one? Okay. Well, I'm glad none of you know how automatic doors work. Except for the Vortigaunt. Who figured it out and then decided, fuck walking towards the guy with the crossbow. Oh, I missed. I guess. They stand far away from one another so you can't defrib. Cheers. Can we play Hunt Down the Freeman again? Yes, probably at some point. It'll probably be a charity stream. I'm mad that I played Hunt Down the Freeman twice and neither time was particularly good. Fuck off. Eh, fuck off. Oh, I'm missing these headshots. I'm wasting ammo. Good lamos. Oh, hey buddy. <laughs> And now for the crescendo. Final fight. The boss of this arena. Thought those Vortigons were hard. Wait until you find... Wait, wait until you find... Ah, fuck it. I can't say words good. Wait until you fight the maintenance headcrab zombie. Three, two, one, go. I think I only hit one of them. Goodbye, Nintendo. Hope you have a nice night, day, evening, afternoon. Hey, what's that one? Okay. Alright. Well. Once again, another victory for Oldfield. He fights his way, way through this facility. Towards the Freeman. And towards his friends. Which he really doesn't need. He has Kevin in his head. Really, you only really need like one or two friends. And, and Kevin. Greetings, Kevin is brother. More than one friend. He's a mate. He talks to me on a regular basis. That's like having three friends right there. One friend that talks to you regularly. That might as well count for like. Three or four regular friends. Thanks to your investigation of the hazard suit, we're now on track to catch Freeman. Hey, that's good to know. On the track. Okay. As long as we're not on a rail. Oh! Hold up, hold up. Well, that didn't work. It's a good idea. Just had the wrong weapon for the job. Wrong tool for the job. Like, when you want a screwdriver and... Instead, somebody hands you a another tool. 
That is a missed screwdriver. Doesn't that suck? Doesn't that suck? Oh man, you guys. What the fuck was that? Somebody just use a TGB station. Oh, station? Hello? Is there anybody out over here? Hello? Oh, hey, friends. Hey. Oh, it's good to see you. Oster Squad was nice supposed to, to help too. us push through this mess, but it looks like they've gotten into trouble. The enemy is coming in great numbers. Okay. You're a very oh, Russian sounding I want us Marine. I my hands around Freeman's throat, but we're stuck here having to fight these aliens instead. How's it you? Are you two, like, related? Probably not. Any idea who's in charge of this operation? Stay alert, people! Have. I have a little sneaking suspicion that you're not related, just basing it purely on skin colour, which I know is a little, little bit racist, but I mean, they're a little different. They sound very similar, though. Very high-pitched, yes, very high-pitched and Russian-sounding. He's adopted. Ah, oh, right, yes. makes sense. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Sorry, I was so distracted by their accents, I didn't pay attention. Um, sure, let's we can do more damage. Damage. I will not fail you, Bring sir. all of you guys with me. Let's go, team. We're here. We're here. Alright. Can you heal me up? All right, you scout ahead. <laughs> Were you just wielding your syringe like a handgun? You in one piece is proving to be quite a challenge. Thank you, uh... Whatever. Thank you very much for the health. I guess it is a weapon. If it's infected or something. Nobody will want to get too close to you. You never know what's in a syringe. If some random dickhead ran up to me with a syringe. I would be very afraid. I would be as scared as if somebody ran up to me holding a gun. In fact, I think I'd be more scared. I can, I can heal from a 9mm bullet. I can't heal from AIDS. I, I, I should have said recover. Can we try that again? Let's redo that joke. Let's cut out that last joke and put this new one in. You can recover from a 9mm wound. You can't recover from AIDS. There we go. See, I'm, I'm... I'm on the ball enough today to know what I want to say, but I'm not on, on the ball enough to say what I want to say. It's a very weird state of being. Natural born alien killer he says, well, there are still aliens very much alive. Looks like the are locked down. Oscar squad was supposed to open them from the other side, yet we haven't heard anything from them in a while. We need to find a way around. Your talking voice and your shouting voice are two very different things. This is how I imagine all VTubers sound when they're not streaming. It's so like, guard duty, that's all I can do. guard duty, huh? And then as soon as stream ends, it's like, hello everybody. <laughs> like, no, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. It's... Really high pitched, like, oh yeah, hi guys. Oh, oh. And then as soon as stream ends, oh fuck, I'm glad that's over. I don't have to talk like that anymore. Oh, talk like a regular human being. Stay alert, people. Whoop. 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 Oh no, Mickey, be gone. Mickey! I can't do it. When I want to do Mickey, I can't do Mickey, but apparently whenever I try and do a high-pitched voice, it sounds like Mickey. Um, let, let, let me let me try Mickey one more time. It doesn't sound that much like Mickey. Hello, I'm Mickey! Oh, hi. oh. what's up, Gooby? And by Gooby, I mean Goofy. I'm just slurring my words a lot today. Whoa. Oh no, the medic's down. Oh well, whatever. 
Um. Stupid little helmet. Please don't die, sir. Uh, oh. Freeman is not the only pain in our butts. Some security guard rescued one of the important scientists we captured before. Oh, dang. Okay. Thought you were going to talk about your, uh... Whoa! Hernia. Your hernia? Is that the word I'm looking for? No, what's, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not a hernia. What's the word I'm looking for? What's a hernia? Hold on, I have to Google something. Goodbye, tie the wall. Hernia? No, that's a disc. Um, that can happen in your ass. What's the word I'm looking for? What's what's when you get butt polyps? But I need to go into an incognito mode before googling butt polyps. Hell are they called? Um, uh, uh, um, hemorrhoids! That's the word I'm looking for. Thought you were gonna talk about your hemorrhoids. There we go, nailed it. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm probably not gonna make a video on this. Whatever. Hemorrhoids, that's the word I'm looking for, not hernias. You get they sound the same. I'm sure you can have hernias around your butthole. Can somebody Google that for me and confirm or deny it? I would, but I'm playing a game. I also don't wanna. Because, I mean, honestly, that's not an image I wanna have to see. If one of you could see it and confirm or deny it for me, that'd be helpful. Why do you need incognito on your home PC? Uh, to make sure that I don't get a bunch of a recommendations for butt ointment uh, for for ads on on like apps and stuff because the Google now watches everything you do and instead of being smart about like you know figuring out what your actual interests are it's just like you've been googling hemorrhoids recently well I'm just gonna recommend you a bunch of butt cream because quite obviously you have hemorrhoids because despite Advanced AI being a thing, honestly, it's just as stupid as everything else. The advanced AI isn't used for anything interesting, it's just- Whoa, hey. Whoa, hey. Down I go. It's never used for its intended purposes. We could use advanced AI to like, you know, get a proper map of how everybody thinks and feels to pr properly, like, give them the perfect ads. Or we could use it for stupid bullshit like writing movies, which it will never be particularly good at. You know you can disable AdSense from your Google account, right? Yes, I do know that, and I also know that AdSense is the reason I get to look at lots and lots of cool clothes on the internet. <laughs> I've probably given a lot of money to Mark Zuckerberg recently by, by, well, not even recently. Over the past, like, year, I've bought, like, a bunch of, like, I've, I've basically had to redo my wardrobe because it got to the point where my friend commented to me that I look like a hobo every single time I come out and eat with them. It's the person that, that made all my artwork. And I was like, no, I don't. And in fact, yes, I do. So I've, I've been, like, looking at clothes and stuff on the internet, and I've probably spent $300 in the past year on clothes. Just actually buying clothes and wearing proper clothes and stuff. Um, which doesn't sound like a lot, but is a ludicrous amount of money for me, um, to spend on clothing. Um, damn, yeah, in the last year. Uh, they don't like your old man sweaters? Oh no, this was long before I bought old man sweaters. Oh fuck, I'm dying. But in reality, we're all dying, aren't we? Slowly. Rotting away in our own skins. Um, oh, oh, I can just... Well, that's interesting. I thought there was a ladder here before, but there isn't. Alright, I need to stop talking about this. But, um, yeah, no. Oh, you still look like a hobo. I don't think I look like a hobo. Isn't the homeless look still in? Yeah, but... Eh, whatever. It's a bit dark of you, Jolly. I mean, it's true. There's a lot about society. 
Honestly, I prefer targeted ads, but I don't want them to be actually targeted for what I normally look for. I don't need a thousand apps for Prep H or Natural Remedies that take its place because I search for the word hemorrhoid. Yes, exactly. Homeless Tenth Doctor. I don't have any trench coats. I could do that. Okay. I do buy a lot of secondhand clothing. Well, I went for a, I went for a hunt for pants because it got to the point where I had one pair of pants that fit me, and it was coming into winter, and I was like, I need more than one pair of pants that fits me. So I went for a hunt for pants. I now have acquired two other pairs of pants. It only took me almost six months, but I've acquired another pair of pets. Um, the barrel has healing water? Oh, it does. You're so smart. And now we can continue. Unwashed secondhand clothing, mostly jackets. Mostly jackets. None of them have been stinky. Hold on, you only have three pants? Yeah, I have three pairs of pants. <laughs> what of it? What of it? I, I have three pairs. All right, I have a lot of pairs. I have four pairs of shorts, but only three pairs of pants. I did have more pairs of pants, but none of them fit me very well. Um, and my mum chucked most of them, or gave actually gave them most of the salvos, because they didn't fit me. And I was like, these are fine. And she was like, they're not fine. Okay, good, yeah. Uh, so I can't go that way currently because I'll get tox toxic. Wait, hold on. If I have a healing thing there and then this hurts me, then I can just tank the damage until I find what I need to find, which I think is this. What is this? Locate squad Oscar? That's... Alright, well, how does this help me locate squad o Oscar? I don't understand. Okay, uh, the only thing I think this is helping me do is get, get cancer. Which isn't really something I need help doing. I'm a marine. I'm sure I've been stationed at some spots with some... ...serious amounts of radioactive dust just hanging around that I've been breathing in. Um... Oh, yeah. Oh, on. Okay. Didn't even go back and use the healing goo, which I probably should have, but I didn't lose as much health as I thought I was going to. I also probably should have lost more health than I did. Whoop. Hey. How do I get you to turn off? Can I turn you off? No. Oh, fuck it. They're dying. Get over here. Um. Where's my friends? Where do you go? Oh. Bogies. In your nosies. That's, that's bogus. Oh, hey, okay. You stay okay, away. I'll secure this area. Yes, right. I'm going to blow that up. Jelly knows about the poisoned water at Camp Lejeune? No, but I do know that there was a serious amount of radioactive dust, dust just hanging around that people have been breathing in all over the place. Negative, especially back in the 60s and stuff. Apparently there wasn't. Uh, right, hold on. Oh, oh, it's gone? It's not coming back? Really? Huh. Okay then. We did it. Everything worked out. Let's go, Marine. Yes, sir. Even though technically I think you're com my commanding officer. Uh, which is strange. Can you not get over here? Can you not? Are you just gonna wait here? Yeah, it puts some hair on your chest. Yes, it also puts another arm on your chest. And an ear. Maybe an eyeball. Who knows? Radiation can do lots of wacky things. The wackiest thing of all it can do is kill you. For a laugh. For a little joke. Oh, gamma radiation, you're such a joker. Turning this fine, young, healthy man into a hairless, blood-coughing freak. For a laugh. Oh. Proceed through the rail system. Thoughts. Oscar squad was wiped out by alien forces. I'm moving further ahead on my own. Actually, there was one of them still alive, but I guess fuck that guy. What 
melt skin off and make you immortal. <laughs> Alright. As far as we know... Uh... Oh, fuck. What are they called? The... The... The guys from Fallout aren't real. Alright? Alright? I know they're cool. I know they're, they're real neat. And they talk in a voice like this the whole time. But... As far as we know... Those don't exist. They don't happen. Ghouls... Do not actually exist in real life. So don't go telling kitties that if you absorb enough gamma radiation, your skin will fall off and you'll be immortal. That's a bad idea. Sure, most kids will go, Ooh, I don't want my skin to fall off. But one of them might be like, Immortal? Oh, I'm gonna go cover myself in radiation. And then die of cancer. The ghouls also got infected with that forced evolution virus. Oh, it, there's lore that I don't know about. Man, I hope Starfield isn't a fucking flaming pile of fucking dog shit. I have no hope that it isn't, because this- Ooh, hey. What is this? Oh, hi. <laughs> it's G-Man. On an important phone call. With his sick-ass 90s phone. Okay. How strange. This man just standing here, taking a cell phone call. Oh, shit. Ordering himself a taxi out of here. Uh. Oh, okay. Awkward spot for a load screen. To be fair, I'd be doing the same thing. If I wasn't instructed to stay here and clean up this mess. Man. Here I thought signing up to the military was a free ride to, you know, universal healthcare and well, some good healthcare and a free university degree. Who knew I'd be flunking out of my university degree and being chucked into the Marines almost immediately. Me, I probably should have known. I'm not a smart man, but I'm smart enough to know I'm not a smart man. Well, okay, I'm projecting onto Oldfield here. Maybe he does have a degree. Who knows? Maybe, maybe Oldfield is a... Smart idiot. That does kind of describe me as well. Um... I don't know. Maybe he got a degree. Maybe he did, like, a creative arts degree or something. Whoa! 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 Full screen. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck were you just doing? That was a neat little pose. Just post the Fortnite dance after you've killed your opponent. Not while you're still killing him. Taunt to get bodied is a thing. You don't, you don't fought before your enemy is dead. First aid station. Weird looking first aid station. I thought it was a button. What's that do? Oh, we're gonna ride a tram. Okay. Neat. Hopefully in a long convoluted section. It takes a long time to get through and it's rather tedious. Here's hoping. Uh, hold on, there we go. What's up here? Ooh, stuff. Stuff is up here. Um, good. That's good. Yeah, lots of stuff. Lots of good stuff. Hooray. I needed 15 hours of college credit before I joined the Marines because I had a general equivalency diploma instead of a high school diploma. Diploma? Diploma. I feel bad because... Daedalus is actually a marine, and I've been insulting the marines endlessly this entire stream. I apologize. They're just easy to insult. I just spilt coffee everywhere. I'm also easy to insult. We have a lot in common, me and marines. What was that logic? Effie pretty much affect everything in Fallout, even super mutant. 
effects are affected by the altered version of FEV. Okay, it's funny though. Oh, I'm glad. No need to insult them just because they eat a crayon or two. I don't know. I feel like insulting people for being different is fun. <laughs> it's a laugh. Um, oh shit. I get insulted for being different and I find it funny. Like that time everybody insulted me for putting toilet, toilet paper in the tip of my dick to make sure there were no drips. People made fun of me for that. How could they make fun of me for that? Just because it's a little bit different? Like, come on, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Everybody had a laugh. Except for me. I felt weird and ostracized by my entire audience. Good thing to do though. Make sure there are no drifts. Yeah, well, tell that to everybody to say I'm a fucking weirdo. I mean, I still do it, I just don't tell people about it now. It's like my dick has a little doily on it when I walk out of the bathroom. I feel like a lot of the people that were wadding me and being like, I don't, this is weird, also just don't have foreskins. Which, you know, just shows how much they're missing out. Oh, oh that's already open. You don't have nature's pocket. You fucking weenies. The weenies don't have pockets. <laughs> uh, dweebs. Dweebs with your lack of weenie pockets. Where, where, where do you put, where do you put your spare, mu your spare change when, when all your pockets are full? Where do you put them? When you got stuff in all four of your pockets, where do you put it? You just leave it on the ground? I bet you do. Meanwhile, I'm shoving that change right up in my foreskin. Because I'm smart like that. In my asshole. Yeah, but then you have to, then it's all poopy. Security key required? Okay, I need a security key. I'm gonna guess, it's this way. In, in my bra? Oh, women can't talk. Women also have na natural pockets. Let's be real here. Women have a much, much more usable natural pocket. They can store big things in there. Go to the store, buy an avocado. Don't need to put that in your bag. You know how cumbersome it is to get an avocado situated just right in your shopping bag. No need to worry about that. Straight up in there. There we go. Safe for the ride home. Not gonna get bruised or anything. You could do it with bananas as well. Bananas are actually a great, great choice because they won't get bruised or damaged or squished. Damn. Wish I had a vagina pocket. Die. Okay, Jelly, this ship has sailed. Sailed into new uncharted territory. It's exciting. Right? Just join. What am I listening to? Oh, about how nature gives us our own little pocket on birth. A lot of people have decided that men don't deserve pockets. It's kind of the reverse of what we do with clothing, right? Men's clothing, we have pockets. We have usable pockets. Women's clothing, we ha they have fake po pockets and unusable pockets. Because clothing designers hate them. Meanwhile, in nature, women have usable pockets. Usable, natural pockets that they can put stuff in. And dudes, dudes have like one little tiny pocket that they can use that is then removed fr from them by society as well. It's ridiculous. It's, um, it's big pocket, stealing our natural pockets from us. It's ridiculous. It's American capitalism gone wild. They have to, they, they steal our pockets so they can sell us pockets. My tiny pocket is taken from me. Whoop. Oh, hey. <laughs> Nice job, Barney. 
You almost got out that sick one-liner before, uh... You ate shit and died. It's the way I'd want to go. Died almost looking like a cool guy. Almost. It's the best I can hope for. I know I won't die in a cool way, but I'll die in an almost cool way, which is close enough. People can say, oh, I see what he was going for. That's good enough for me. <laughs> it's just like my humor. <laughs> I'm not actually funny, but I, people are like, oh, yeah, I can see the joke he was going for there. It was a good attempt. That's good enough for me. Jelly, your jokes are... Are so motherfucking unfunny sometimes. I'm so glad my mum doesn't understand English. Hey. It's the second language. This, the language barrier, right? They would be hilarious if you understood English. Why would your mum be watching these streams? Jelly, there was no joke. What? Come on, the natural pockets thing was hilarious. Come on now. It's not even a joke, it's just true. It's just unfunny. <laughs> smell what I smell? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, hey. We really should be focusing on the game. Okay. Apparently there's a, a smell in the air before something teleports in. Jelly, stop going full incel. What do you mean by full incel? Oh man, I'm jealous of women in their natural pockets. You incel. Well, we're back here again. If you wanted to make a joke, what? If you wanted to want to make at least a joke, but you never would like to try that hard, you always could just make a Vaporeon copy pasta. I don't understand what you're saying, but you want me to make a Vaporeon copy pasta? Oh, somebody's calling me. Not sure who, but somebody is. Uh, dude, what? Oh. Hold on, one more time. Who is calling me? It's my mum. No, I don't know who it is. Jolly, don't look into it. I'm muting this screen. I know about the Vaporeon copy pasta. Come on now. I know about the Vaporeon copy pasta and then the white Vaporeon because it's filled with. Yeah, no, I know about that. Come on now. Y'all are so mean. Ah, oh, it's understandable. Gotta keep me honest. Gotta make sure my humor isn't too shit. Correct. Alright. Me peacock. Am I way further back than I thought I was? I'm just, I'm just removing that whole, oops. I'm just removing that whole conversation we had from, from the potential second channel video I'm making on this. I didn't think that pocket joke was that unfunny. Wow, you took a lot to go down. I like that Barney, who really just went out like a little bitch. Oh, hey. Vent? What is this guy? Up here. Where is up here? Up here is here. Neat. Some shotgun ammo in the, in the loot boxes. Nothing in the loot boxes? Wow, that fucking sucks. Absolutely blows. Nothing in the loot crates. That ten bucks for nothing. Ow! Oh, 
Fucker. Oh, whatever. It's okay, Jelly. I think, still think you're okay. <laughs> I think you're okay. It's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. It would be unfair. He constantly says things that would land any man in an asylum. <laughs> Look, I, I say the things other people are scared to say for that exact reason. Okay. Uh... That was good. Mm, fuck off. Fuck off. So look at where the grenade is falling, not where it's being thrown from. Clever, clever cookie. Um... Okay, I've been that way, quite obviously. Have I been this way? No, I have not. Yes, I have been. This is where I found the keycard. Right. Whoop. Okay, uh... Now I go back, and now I can open up that other thing. Yeah. You smell what I smell? I have a bad feeling about oh this. Oh. Nice. We made this comment before, but quite obviously there is a smell as a teleport is about to happen. Fucking hell, I did the same stupid shit again, didn't I? Did the same stupid shit again. Whatever, man. Nope, not this way. This way. Mm, this way. Nope, not this way. This way. <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, nope, not that way. This way. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. Telefrag. Yep. You smell what I smell. I have a bad feeling about this. I just, just want to make sure this happens. And then I'll come back over here and do this. Whoa, 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 why are we getting stuck? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I think I'll just send this back and then walk back over here. Alright, now I can get on this. I like to make nature's pocket conversation. I'm gonna probably not put it in the video because I'll have to label it for sexualized content on YouTube, but. I thought it was a good little conversation. Foreskin is nature's pocket, and I will stand by this statement. I'm still willing to bet he starts ranting about women again. I was not ranting about women. I was simply commenting that they have a natural pocket. And it's true, goddammit. Uh, yes, now I can do this. Now we can go. Hooray. It wasn't jelly. You need professional help. <laughs> Nobody can help me. Nobody can help me other than myself. I've been to therapy. Alright. Away we go. Well, now we back it up. Oh, <laughs> away we go. Well had the right idea. Backing it up was the right idea. It was not the way we go. Well, it's the way we could have gone, but it didn't lead to a happy ending. Alright, away we go. One more time. This time, we crouch. Slow it up. That says handgun every Stop time it. I fire it. Close to the location it. of the Lima oh. squad. Hey, they need your help. Apparently, the aliens have got right. air support. Uh, okay. I think maybe this is the point where we should panic, Kevin. 
I think maybe this is the point where we should be like, oh, these aliens, they know what they're doing. Oh no, these aliens are kind of wrecking our shit. Like, maybe we should go for help. Or a nuke. Which I know we eventually launch, but... Well, we don't really launch, we detonate in the facility. Maybe we should, maybe we should do that preemptively. I feel like it would sh save a lot of hardship. Oh, a little rat. What will happen first? What? What are you guys predicting? Death? Stabbed by a creature? Stupid death? Society rant? <laughs> Woman rant? Stream ends? <laughs> Well, nobody bet on stream ending, so that's where we're calling it for today, ladies and gentlemen. That was a good stream. I had a good time. Uh, we're leaving it here today. Just kidding. We're going to continue for a little while. Somebody's got to win, right? There's got to be a winner. Rigged. <laughs> I'm going to bet on myself. Uh, all right, let's go. Oh. Or not. Or not. Okay. Well. This is kind of disappointing. Nowhere near as confusing or as long and tedious as I thought it was going to be. I'm very disappointed. What's the point in having a map with a tram cart? If it isn't overly long, confusing, and somewhat boring. having a section, I should say, because I'm trying to keep up kayfabe, but I'm not. Because this just isn't one of those videos. Uh, okay. You guys got debated. Oh, what? Is now everybody predicted that stream ended? It refunded. Ah, oh, boo! Boo! I'm not going to die for the rest of this video, just to spite you all. What do I have to do? Join Lima Squad. Thoughts? Hmm. And sometimes to proceed, you need to find a special item and apply it on a specific place. Wow. Wow. These hints really are next level, teaching me things I never knew. I feel like it's the fourth wall breaking of the objectives that really messes me up. <laughs> Is it just me? I feel like that really does break the fourth wall and kind of ruin everything for me. Somebody who likes to you know, pretend that they are in the environment they are in. But when I have hints telling me, sometimes you have to find things and put them on other things. Kind of rips me out of the experience a little bit. Thoughts none, Marine. Oh, jolly. I don't really have thoughts as much as I just vocalize absolutely everything that comes in comes into my brain. And it doesn't even really come into the brain. It doesn't have time to be processed. These aren't thoughts as much as they are animalistic instincts that are just being thrown out my mouth. I don't really think, I'm not processing what I'm saying, it's just coming straight out of my mouth. I like role playing a bit. I, I really do enjoy uh, sort of putting myself in the player character's shoes. I think it's a lot of fun. And also points out the weirdness and, and stupidity of, you know, some video game writing. Uh, but it doesn't always work. It's um, best in specific circumstances. That's why I was kind of mad with the Dead Space remake where they made whatever his name is, Isaac, talk. I'm like, bitch, bitch, I was going to be the one that talks. It's so much more amusing when you have a non-voiced player character that is actually talking. It's just like everybody's kind of ignoring him because he's a little bit of a dullard. Um, where do I go? What do I do? What am I doing wrong? Jolly has two legs. Huh. Some ladies would say I have three. <laughs> um have a filter even if you tried. I have some filter. I, I, look, I can sometimes hold some of my, my musings back if I really need to, but honestly, I am very much an open book. 
I don't know how some people can come on stream and not just tell everybody everything. I probably have to go up here, don't I? This is probably the way to progress, isn't it? This is probably what I was supposed to do, isn't it? Hey, buddy. Um, can I press the button? Nope. Well, there's not much to do in here. I'll uh, leave you to it. Enjoy the Barney Corpse. Is this going to electrocute me? No, it isn't. Hooray. How's the water up here? How's the water up here? How did that water get up here? How is there water? Oh, whoa, whoa, hey. Well, that safety tape was holding on by a thread. That didn't, doesn't seem particularly safe. Tell me any random dickhead just walks into the safety tape, it immediately disintegrates. Completely defeating the point of safety tape, which is to hold you back. Uh, I can't go that way. I guess this is black mesa. Oh shit. At least they're trying to have some open compliance. Whoa, hey guys. Did you, uh, not shoot me with the lightning? Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. I was the one that got fucked. It was me. Alright, back up here. I thought the, the voice line was going to replay. Whoop, whoop. Oh shit, I'm in water. I thought you said you weren't going to die for the rest of the stream. Yeah, you know. I say a lot of things. Important that I teach you guys that everything I say is probably at least somewhat incorrect. I am not a reliable source of information. Gotta teach all you little guys critical thinking. Don't learn it from me. Who will you learn it from? Gotta, you gotta make sure you don't just trust any old Yahoo. Gotta be critical about your information gathering. Gotta verify your sources. This is not... Oh, is it? Oh, come on. Yes? This is gonna break. This is gonna break, right? Or not. It's making the breaking noises. Oh, it breaks! This is a secret. Ooh. Ooh, where the hell is this? Oh, this is a secret! Holy shit! I was gonna say, this is where, uh, like, a mod, like, hazardous course would put a secret. And there was a secret. And I found it. Woo! I'm a genius. Something makes that noise, it's gonna break. Eventually. Got an MG. Cause I'm just a big brained boy. I call everybody I meet buddy. I don't think I don't think any of these Zenians are buddy. They're probably not named buddy. Probably named like Zuckerborg of Granadlunth or something. They're, they're they're very very likely not named buddy. Maybe some of the marines. Probably some of the marines. There's probably one or two marines named Buddy. And when I say, hey Buddy, they probably go, whoa, he knows my name? How does he know my name? Have we met before? I don't think we have. Oh, hey guys. Right away, sir. Good yes, to see sir. Another Your squad, squad Lima. Lima. Head to the old lab sector. This is where Dr. Rosenberg and his team are hiding. Uh, roger that. It is. Whoa, hey. Speaking of out, out of control. Hey, yo. Uh, gun. Get fucked. Alright. Oh, fuck me. Oh. 
Kablam. Well, that didn't work. Whoop. Oh, and we're already... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. This is not gonna be easy. Throw. Kablam. Throw. Kablam. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. New plan. Oh, fuck. Fuck it. Just... Ah! Uh... One more time. There. Hope that hit some of them. Hope that. Oh, that was not smart. That was not. This, none of this was smart. We're reloading. Hold on, I have plan. Oh wow! 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 wow. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, run over here, run over here. Run, run, run over this way. No, don't revive him! <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh, I hate that! Fuck it. Run, run, run this way, this way, this way. <laughs> Doing what's called a pro gamer move and dying. Woo! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright. Fuck my friends. Friends aren't important. What is important is not dying. over here. Oh, the bees! Not the bees. The mounted MG is not going to help, man. See how this doesn't kill them anywhere near quick enough? There's no way in hell the mounted MG is going to be the, the saving grace here. Okay, here we go. Get back here. No, no, no reviving your friends. Holy shit, one of my marines is alive? How? How is he alive? Hey guys. Stay there. Stay there. Oh! You... I said stay there! I said stay there! Why did you not stay there? Can't revive the fucking pile of gibbs, can you, you little bitch? Can you? No, no glue on gun revive for you. Look. Him. There we go. And how the fuck did you survive? I was told this is gonna be a babysitting job. I really? don't think I can make it, sir. Okay. Affirmative, sir. Can't make it a job. That's what we call them. Oh. Hey, We're thanks, not even Kevin. Sure if they're animals or machines, but they pose a real threat. Hopefully, right. our anti-air forces will find a way to deal with them. Right. Yes. Oh, hey, thanks for the help. Not even like a. Wow. They com the squad was completely wiped out. That's horrific. Just. Oh, you know, we call them manta rays. Did you know that? Did you know we call them manta rays? We call them manta rays. It's a... Uh, a little bit of a cold response there, Cap. Almost a little bit autistic in nature. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> Sounds more fascinated with the manta rays than worried that they will, they're airdropping in Xenians that are wrecking our man. They fly now, they fly. I mean, they've always kind of flown. What the fuck? Oh. Uh, wow, Marine. Good use of ammo right there. Really making sure we put all that... Whoa, whoa! Oh, he's dead. Oh, no. Sorry. I'll use my shotgun over long range. In honor of you, buddy. Making sure the... US military budget is being put to good use. Gotta spend all that money on something. Might as well be shotgun rounds. Please. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Ow. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, he's not dead. Made. Okay. Get wrecked. Nice. Now, where 
place the Jeez, I don't want to create making yourself feel tall big and important you're not big and important you're insignificant that's mean you're not insignificant insignificant I'm sure somebody loved you I'm sure you had a water wife a water child that loved you dearly I'm sure you were very important to them too bad you had to die like that Use your snarks against the Xenians. The snarks won't attack. You're a genius. Honestly, I haven't had much use for the Zeni uh, for the snarks because they'll only attack gargantuans and marines. And the marines are my friends, and we've only run into one gargantuan. Oh, shit. Oh, it's the Half-Life guy. Oh, dang it, I'm still the Half-Life guy, huh? Changing that image. Yes, sure, I am currently playing Half-Life. And that does kind of lean into the whole Half-Life guy bit. But I do a lot of other stuff as well. I play other games. I do other things. I don't just play Half-Life. Hint. Get good. Hint. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, own. Owned you. Yeah, get wrecked. Oh, no, Otis! Poor bug, poor bug, dies. Poor buddy, poor buddy, poor guy. I don't know. New end stream soon. I'm, I've got to, I've got to somehow go sit down, think about things for a little while, link, gain enough energy back to stream golf for two hours in a little while. Um, yeah, he plays VR golf. I do play VR golf as well. To far more people than are here right now. Which is kind of embarrassing in a way. Very much for the armor. Poor little Otis. Just walking down that corridor after blowing up his armored personnel carrier all by himself. Only to be destroyed by a shitty turret. Really impossible to catch streams. XD. Why? Are you Australian? Or American? Are you a European. There's nothing we could do except take his donuts. Oh, and, and his Desert Eagle armor. Um. Well, I've only got one plan of action here, and that is run, run like a bitch. Whoa, hey, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, you dickhead. What are you doing? Fine, that's what you're doing. Go first aid station. Don't mind if I do. Although I won't really that hurt. Surrender Freeman. Surrender all Freeman. Marines are getting so desperate they've resorted to conscription. <laughs> That's how bad it is against the Xenians. But what? Four or five hours in to the assault on Black Mesa and they're already calling up Conscripts. Wives and mothers must surrender all free men. That was funny. That was a bit right. I did a lot of a lot of comedy work off that one little bit of graffiti. Yeah, it was a real good bit right there. I think that's good. Half Life Wiki mentions nothing about them ignoring Xenian creatures. Do we have to do this each and every time? Secret. Love you, man. Thank you very much for, for moderating my Discord. But I can assure you without a shadow of a doubt that uh, snarks do not attack other Xenian creatures. Except for gargantuans, which we only found out today. They do not attack them. Um, it's one of those things that a lot of people don't know about. Long-time viewers in my chat can attest. I, I actually, one of my first interactions with Vinny was was us kind of racing to the end of a mod and me having a whole little bit where I sat around for five minutes explaining to people that snarks do not hurt other Xenian creatures. Hold on, I can prove it to you right here. Go, fight, kill, kill them, kill them. Oh, what are they doing? Why are they attacking me? Oh no, kill them, kill them. 
Oh, look at them. They're not attacking the Zenian creatures. They, 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 don't, they don't attack other Zenian creatures, which is really cool, but it also makes them fucking useless. You didn't know about Vorts defribbing other Vorts. That's because Vorts defribbing other Vorts isn't something in the base Half-Life games. That has been added for this mod, along with their AoE attack. Those are two things that don't exist in default Half-Life. However, there were unused assets for those things, which is why they've been reintroduced. <laughs> Does that count as a rant? I don't think so. It was more, it was more telling someone. Someone got told. That doesn't count as a rant. You shooting me through the canvas? Fuck off. How are you shooting me through the canvas? D this is this is bullshit. I should be I should be unkillable. In that impenetrable shield of canvas right there. What is that bullshit? Poor shit. We all know electricity can't go through canvas. Oh god. Reload. Reload quicker. Reload quicker. Reload this gun. It should take about 15 to 20 seconds to reload. Faster. Five seconds is too long. Okay. Uh, hey, buddy. Ow! That was a pretty good impression of what I just sounded like. A little bit more catty than me, but, you know, not too far away. Get back over here. What have I got? What have I got? What can I use? I'm gonna use my big gun. I can use any gun. Oh no! Oh. Fuck off. All right. Yeah, nailed it. I'm getting kind of good with my grenades nowadays. All right. Well, everything's dead. Pretty sure Delta Team's dead. Isn't Delta Team dead? In fact, I'm pretty sure most Marines in this facility are dead. Or dying. Or soon to be dying. They're all on the way to death, really. Oh, hey. D really? Oh, great job. Great job, Air Force. You did a fantastic job there. Bombing the enemies I'd already killed. Yes. No wonder the air barrel is air battle is being lost. Whoa! Okay, sorry, that was a loud noise, but I was almost just pushed into a trip mine. I think that was an air manta. I'm not sure it was. Just a little late, you know. Don't worry. It's only hundreds, if not thousands, of marines dying on the ground as we speak. Oh boy, what the fuck? like scientific turrets? Oh shit. Uh ooh, hey. This is my um what are the scientists setting up their own turrets now? Can, can you die? Please? Can you die as well? Can everybody just die except for me? I'd like to be the last living person in this facility, please. really worth it? All that effort for a single satchel charge? Probably not. But I did it. Game says no. Yeah, game says a lot of things. That doesn't mean the game is always right. Uh, shotgun. Shotgun was a good choice. Anybody can come up here. No. Oh well. I can come down here. That's fine. I'm easy like that. I'm not fast. 
And this in the end, you're dead and I'm alive. I'm really fast. I'm easy like that. Easy! Whoa, hey, Barney. Right, well, we finally have a use for our snarks. Hey, Barney, have you ever heard of this cool thing called biological warfare? It's a lot of fun. This cool little thing's called snarks. We'll attack you, and then eat you. Until you are dead. And then they'll stop eating you for some reason. They don't seem particularly interested on actually eating your corpse. They just want to kill you. Which is kind of fucked up, really. They're doing, a, they're doing a human and just killing something for the fun of it. Not because, you know, they need the, the meat to live. Or because it's a danger to them. No, they just want to kill something so they can stuff it. And stick it in the corner of their house and be like, Huh, I killed that thing. Which is kind of messed up. But, um, I guess kind of messed up does kind of describe all of biological warfare, doesn't it? Oh, hey. Look at you and your fancy mood lighting. Real neat, man. Kill for fun and then explode, yes. Oh, shit. Kind of like the Taliban. Um, <laughs> let's try to figure out how to word that joke for a little while. However, that that's kind of that's kind of tired and old hat, isn't it? Oh, something exploded in my face. Oh, it must have been the Taliban. Whatever. I like Zenny and cats. That would have been a better joke. Whatever. I went for the joke. After there was so much time that had passed between what had happened and the joke that it wasn't really even a funny joke anymore and it just seemed low effort. It seemed like I'd spent, what, 10-15 seconds workshopping a shitty joke. That's great. That's the best. I don't commit to the joke, but then eventually I do commit to the joke so it's no longer as funny as it was. It's a vintage joke from 2002, Jolly. Nah, it wasn't enough. Oh, they're like, they're like, uh, like those terrorist bombers, like, Alakbar, and then they explode, ha, uh, ha, uh, yeah, yeah, they're really gay like that, they're so gay like that. Oh man, Snarks are retarded, man. Ah, oh, shit, I shouldn't say that word, should I? It's in the context of a 2002 joke. I think I think that was pretty that was pretty vintage, right? That was pretty vintage. I could imagine somebody saying that in 2002. It was very historically accurate. Yeah. Those three words are kind of, well. Gay, the F word and the R word. Are um all very much staples of 2002 vocabulary and none of the cowards making period pieces will commit to that none of them they won't commit <laughs> they won't hard commit to the period it's not historically accurate if somebody isn't calling something gay every time like something breaks or goes wrong gay is just another word for bad Oh, this stupid gay radio doesn't work. Oh man, this is so gay. What? This funeral that we're at? Yeah, it's so gay and lame. It's it. It's not authentic to the era. What? Somebody? I got woken up by... They're really gay. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, I was just coming out on stream. Uh, I hope you accept me for who I am. It's going to make amazing clips. <laughs> yep, out of context. So when the, the Twitter longers come for me, I am just... I am unable to defend myself as I have to provide context for 700 to 800 different clips over my five-year Twitch career. Look at rope. 
It is a tiny little rope, isn't it? It's a very small rope. The name? The, they're never going to rename Golden Gay Times, Davin. Don't be ridiculous. They're not going to rename Golden Gay Times. It's simply not going to happen. Because Golden Gay Times predates using gay as a just a word to mean bad things. And will continue to live on past using gay to mean bad things. If you called something gay today, there'd be a whole... If you said something's gay on like TikTok, most Zoomers would think, "How is th how is how is that gay? What? It's not. It's not gay at all. It's not LGBTQ at all. They won't understand. It's only the older millennials that will understand what they're trying to say." Look at coon cheese, Jolly. Coon cheese is one of those stupid things that makes no sense. But that's not going to happen. Wait, has coon cheese? The coon cheese hasn't. That was a lie, wasn't it? That wasn't true. Oh, it was changed to cheer. It does kind of make sense if they're branching out into the American audience. Yeah, it's, it's majority owned by a Canadian dairy company. Of course they're going to change the name. Yeah. Whatever. It's cold cheer. I like my coon cheese. I mean, doesn't coon mean raccoon anyway? Oh, that's actually really cool. They've really improved the enemies in this. They really, really have. I like the little light, light, little bits of lightning coming off their hands. This once again isn't going to be a video. Ah, fuck. I fucked up again, guys. I don't know. Uh, objective, head to the old lab sector. Okay. This is a really well-made mod. Yes, it just... I don't know, it just doesn't lend itself to my style of commentary. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna finish it, but... Whoop. There goes. We're just chilling out. Big old headcrab party. Interrupted the blood orgy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Like, I'm sure a lot of these people didn't deserve to have their corpses desecrated. Well, they were going to have their corpses desecrated by one of us. It was either going to be me or you, but, you know. I would have been somewhat respectful when putting them in their mass graves and pretending that they were killed by aliens and covering up this whole entire snafu. Where's you guys? You just, just rip open their chests and eat their delicious human bits. Face fuck them. It's just a little over the top. Going a little far with that disrespect. Whoa, hey, how do I turn off the lightning? How do I turn it off? Security doors unlocked. Right. Oh, oh, I go this way. And then there'll be a power button in here somewhere. Ooh. Pop. Also known as soda or soft drink. Depending on where you live in the world. Alright, in this case, it's called soda pop. I guess also does technically. Ooh, it's more soda. Work. I personally call it soft drink, but you know, a lot of people call it soda pop and stuff. I don't know. When I say pop, I think of bubble wrap. Oh, hey! Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw all of you out the window. Knew you were all out there too distracted by soda to really think about the fact that I was on the same level as you all. Right. Come this way. Come this way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Don't make me waste this satchel charge. There we go. Oh, really? Yeah, that was kind of not my best play. Um, what horrible things he said under the top of woman pocket? What do you mean? I don't understand what you mean. Oh, oh shit. No, 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 no. Don't revive your friend. Fuck off. No revives. I don't have a healer. It's unfair to me. That was a bullshit anyway. They're a waste of a, waste of a class slot. Why do they even exist? It's dumb. It's just there so somebody who's not very good at the game can be helpful to their team. Hey, seriously, why is my phone... Who is ringing me repeatedly? My mother. One second. Well, I'm actually going to end stream here um, and come back to this because I, I should complete this. Um, uh, I know this is an awkward time to end stream um, because I have to end stream now because I have to help my dad <laughs> get into his Netflix account, which is nice. Um, I'm very sorry. Um, thanks for the stream. No problem. Had a good stream. Um, I don't quite understand what's going on with my screenshots here. But for some reason, they're showing up right here. Uh, I, I need to, I need to call back my dad back. November 2015. It's a dog stuck in a door. What's this one? How do I, how do I change? This one is open. This one. It's a very pretty image from Skyrim. Back when I used to play Skyrim. I wonder if any of these are, what was my most recent screenshot? That one. And then I, I think I accidentally took two here. Oh no, <laughs> I documented my baby adventures in, in dead space. Look. Me and my baby. It was a great time. Took my little friend around. Thanks for stream. No problem. Um, and then these were all hazardous course. Where I took a bunch of these. These were for um for that thumbnail for that video. They're all for that thumbnail for that video. Notice no photos allowed. Don't remember what that was for. Lost pet. Name Captain T. Miller the Third. What game was this? I don't know. I accidentally took one in Among Us VR. How did I even do that? I took a couple in in uh, Nextbot VR somehow. Don't. Oh yeah, because there's the camera, isn't there? Fuck it's. Oh yeah. Yeah, this was great. Trippy zero two. There were numbers on the screen, which were just actual numbers on the screen and not anything important. Uh, oh yeah, I I actually did pretty good in um in a uh uh hot dogs VR session. It's two hundredth in the world, which is I think actually pretty impressive when you think about it. Um, personally, I think pretty, pretty impressive. I was quite proud of myself. Isn't that game where you're taking the elevator and stuff? I think this one, I don't know what this was. I did it again somehow. 
Do it again somehow. Bunch of shots in VR. Don't know how I did that. Don't know how I did that. Snowdrop escape. Yeah, I, I remember that. Um, Sven co-op. Don't know how I did that. No tits, no tits, I can show this. This is VR chat. I was scared for a second there. Armor three. It's fucking up Rumi's test bed. Um Don't know how I keep taking these screenshots. Don't know how that keeps happening. I know how I did that. I took screenshots of Alex in pain and suffering, because it was a fun time. Um None of these are particularly interesting, except for this one, because this was the fucking Simpsons fish in an official, uh, in, 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 uh, Counter-Strike. Just straight up. Remember this? Anyways, I need to stop now. Uh, I will, uh, see you all later. Remember the key on stream? Rebind. Uh, I think it's F12. Uh, Mr. Sparkle. It's the Simpsons fish, and that's in an official, um, Valve game. Straight up. Just the fish from the Simpsons. I'm surprised it's never been bought up by anyone. That, that could definitely be like a did you know factoid. Good chill stream. I liked it very much. Well, thank you. I tried. I think I was a little bit too content creator-y, but hey, that's life. I try. Um, other than that, I've got some really old Dota screenshots. Oh yeah, this was, this is the best if you've ever played Dota. This is the best feeling. It's the best fucking feeling. Back when you could stack multiple of, of one set of enemies, this was basically the best thing that could ever happen to you. Where it's like, I just have dogs. I have stacked dogs. And now I will go and get like... 700 gold like that it's the best so great which cs uh deleted scenes oh yeah and then this game where we just won because it was festivus and drow was given a divine rapier at like the 15 minute mark and it was like well this is this is a victory golf is in two hours yes it's the reason i stop stop stream we're raiding mike and by Mike, I mean Mike. You know, we are raiding Mike. I was going to raid Dave, but Dave is playing Tetris 99. And that is basically Stream Poison. This is a dude that you will probably all like. Jabroni Mike is a cool dude. Um, thank you all for tuning in. I didn't miss anybody for sub. Oh, Bryce. Bryceicle. Thank you very much for the prime. Fuck. Sorry, Bryce. Are you still here? I very much apologize. Um. Go check out Mike. He's a great guy. A lot of fun. Has a funny Boston accent. See you all later.